sexies! Happy Sunday! Welcome to Pull for Dummies streaming. So we are currently streaming on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. You should be able to see all of the chat above here. So, and hi, sexy! So welcome. So glad you're here, Vanny. And uh, we started playing this game last night. And so, if you want to catch up on anything that you missed out on, we do have that on YouTube and YouTube and Twitch. Mm -hmm. So it's uploaded there if you want to catch up. But we started this game from the very beginning. RimWorld, um, I've never played it before last night. So B is the expert and has been teaching us how to play. So if you have played this game before, feel free to type in the chat if you have any tips or tricks. And do you want to explain the anything else about the game? Let's just jump back into it. Um, yeah, if you guys have played in the chat, uh, feel free to give us some tips, give us some shout outs. We're the equal federation of women. Yay! Perfect. So, <laughs> all right. Let's try and recap. Let's try and f remember what happened last time. So we crash landed. We had three powerful women. Yes. Um, we have Raven Tail. Yes, Raven Tails, and all of these characters are named after people who have been participating in the chat. So if you're new here and want a character named after you, please feel free to let us know. Oop. There we go. Uh, just feel free to let us know, and we're happy to name a character after you. Um, yeah, so we've started our little colony here. We're building our home, and then we have some crops. We have some guest areas over here, and then we have our duck sanctuary, which is <laughs> our, like, church area, and we're going to be working on that a little bit more today and hopefully expand it. And then um, we were attacked. We have, like... We love animals, so we're like breeding cats right now. And we had a dog, but unfortunately, bears came. We have a bear problem right now. So they killed, I don't know, three of our cats and yeah. then our dog, who was named after us. So we are not happy about that, <laughs> but we are scared of attacking the bears because we don't need another um, health issue with our characters. So that's another thing that we're going to be doing is trying to deal with the bears somehow we tried locking them in like we tried building a wall around them but that ended up not working <laughs> yeah so we're gonna have to figure that out and hi raven tail so glad that you're back sexy we're so glad you're here and raven tail is actually our leader right now yes. so awesome they have a royal title <clears throat> they do they do they do so all right I think so yes. it looks like it's morning so um Raventail is our early riser, and they are just going to be doing some stuff while everyone else sleeps. We have someone visiting here. Um, they are the sister of one of our characters, um, but they apparently don't want to stay, even though we saved their life. So <laughs> rude. We are a little like s sussed out by that. But... Raventail's meditating. <gasps> Yay! So Raventail is very spiritual. They wake up early to go meditate in our duck sanctuary. And it's called the duck sanctuary because it looks like a duck. We will be adding a little bit more duck-like features soon. <laughs> but that's good for now. This is this is the bear. That's the bear. We'll probably need Murderer. to... Murderer. Man, I don't know what to do about that. Maybe we, we just to... build a wall, like, there and then, like, around there. So... I don't know. We're going to have to hunt the bear or do something to get rid of the bear. But we're not really strong enough for that yet. I have an idea. Do we have a lot of wood yet? We do. We have 200 wood. I thought we had more. Oh, but we just built that expansion. Wooden wall? Mm hmm. Or we could do steel <clears throat> wall. We have more steel. Is steel harder to come by, though? Um, no, not necessarily, and it's stronger. I think it's fine. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna just. What do I want to do here? You want to block everything in, so we should probably connect here. I was thinking maybe we do something like this, and then like this. Yeah. Are these mountains? But then those are mountains. So we can't knock this down? We we can mine through it and we can knock it down and build a wall through it. But the thing is, if you go up, we can't build a wall into the water. 
and there's like some shallow water that the bear can walk through with. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't think Murderer! Animals... <laughs> Murderer! You know what? Actually, it's better that they're attacking the goose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because... Oh, okay. sh no! Stay away! Stay away! Stay away, please! See, please right. stay away. Here. Um... Oh, Raventail's making tarot cards. That's really cool. That's so cool. Like, are you making your own, like, designing your own? Um, because that's super cool. We're really, in we're, we're into tarot. We're still learning about it, but we want to make our own deck as well. That's more of, like, Hayden's thing. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Pull for Dummies is a collective of people who, um, do basically, where our goal is to make pole dancing easily accessible for others as well as a lot of other things like we do poetry we do gaming as you can see we do kind of a little bit of everything and so that's the project is directed by myself b and then our third who is hayden we're all platonic soulmates and um hayden's more of the creative type so anyway talking about tarot that's more of me and hayden's gig but we're really excited for that too yeah. And then Curdlet, hey sexy, so glad you're here. They're asking, can you build a wall around the bear while he sleeps? We tried that last night and it did not work. Mm. So that is a great <laughs> suggestion, great idea, but unfortunately um, it might not be possible, but we'll see. And <clears throat> Raventail, that's so cool. What card are you working on right now? Vanning is asking, have you tried Five Night? Five, Five Nights, Nights at, at Freddy's? Freddy's? What's that? That's like a horror game. That looked Five Nights at Freddy's was big around like 2012, like kind of when we were in high school. Yeah, <laughs> that's to, aging to us a little us. bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a horror kind of game. Um, we want to make sure the wall is, um, or the, um, sorry, the door, geez, wow, words, uh, is on like this side of the wall <laughs> so that our people can get in and not have to go like around our wall, but that uh, bear is now like coming into our area. What if we do that? We can do that. But then people are gonna have to come around here and that's where the bear is, you know? Why do we have to go that way? Because there's stuff over here that people are gonna wanna go into. We're just gonna, we're gonna redo that. Cause I think we should just have a bear sanctuary just like in Switzerland, in the capital Bern, they have bears captured in like areas. So I there think, I think that's oh, except our kitty. Can the kitty kitty can go through that yeah. door though? Yeah. So they can go through here, and I don't know if the bear can go inside. We'll see what happens. This cat. I wish we could tell our cat to please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Is the cat trapped in here now? No. Kitty, please, please, stay away from the bear. The bear just ate a goose, so it's probably fine for a little while. And now the bear is not even in the in the in the area, but hopefully it'll go back by the time it's built. Go back, bear. Yeah, and I want to redesign this because I don't really like the layout of this, but again, I'm just learning the game for the first time, and hopefully we can rebuild later. <laughs> Curdlet says you can keep your pets slash cats in a designated spot. So we can make zones for them, but they don't always stick to it 100% of the time. So if you go to, if you click on zone, and then uh, we'll do expand allowed area and then manage areas and then new area we can rename this and call it like cats or animals stay away <laughs> from bear i know that's not how you spell it but i think it's funny <laughs> from beer from beer for beer now it has that's your name in it yeah <laughs> All right, and then we can close that, and then click on expand allowed areas again, and then cats stay away from beer. So now you can just highlight the area that you want the cats to stay in. <laughs> just, can I make more? 
Can I do mm -hmm. this and then? And then expand it, yeah. And it'll be all one expanded shape. Uh, we also want to include our storage area because that's where the food is. Otherwise, they're going to starve. And they need to be able to get outside into that area. So you kind of have to like draw paths around. But as long as they stick to that, they should be fine. I don't know. That was a great suggestion. Thank you, Curdlets. And Raventail is currently working on the High Priestess, which is so great because we actually have a High Priestess um, leadership role oh, that we yeah. made for this game. So right. this our, the role is not filled. The High Priestess. That's the moral, the moral guide, the moral center of our <laughs> religion. Is called the High Priestess. So that's really Who's cool. our builder again? Um. Knife, knife is doing construction. So we can bump that up to one and bump uh, these down. Whoop. Yeah. Cool. Now they'll focus on construction. We can leave doctoring because... Um, no one needs a doctor right now. Mm -hmm. Zero six seven just made another sculpture. Ooh. That's cool. We can see what kind of art they did. The, uh, making art is probably one of my favorite things in this game because it randomly generates a storyline to go with the art piece. So let's click on that. Where? Oh, here it is? Mm -hmm. So let's... It's called install. Untitled with oh. a Hair. <laughs> oh, whoops, oh, sorry. It's all good. And then click on the art button. This sculpture is shaped like a cat wounding a hair without emotion or expression. The cat looks pleased with the situation. A boar far from the main subject conveys the emotions of hostility. The image somehow expresses both blood and fever. The illustration tells the story of assaulting of the hair by the cat on the first of <coughs> Jugist 5500. So yeah, our, our cat <laughs> killed a hair. So that's what they made a sculpture about, which is super cool. So we're gonna install this. I think it'd be cool to put it in our sanctuary. Yeah. Um, let's put it here for now. Sure. Where is the spirit? We need to get this wall built. I think um, people tend to build things in the order that you place them down. Ooh. Cargo pods. Some more random clothes fell out of the sky. Let's see what it is. We've got a military hat, a commissar hat, and another type of hat. Military cap. Okay. Should we call them? Yeah, go for it. We might as well. And, I mean, if we don't end up wearing them, then we can always sell them. So that's good to have. <clears throat> All right. So the bear is outside now of the area. There. Okay, good. Nope. <laughs> Thunderstorm! So scary! It's a dry thunderstorm, which actually can be a big problem because dry thunderstorms, the lightning will hit the ground and start fires, and then the fire will start spreading, and you don't have the rain to put it out. So if we zoom out, there might actually be fires somewhere. Oops. No, not yet. Well, a little bit, but now it's raining, so anyway. Just so you know. It is good to know. <clears throat> Raventail says, I'm making it mushroom themed. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Can they send <laughs> pictures on here? Um, Raventail, I, I think you told us last night you don't have Instagram, but if you do, please send us a picture at Pull for Dummies on Instagram so we can see what your mushroom themed tarot looks like because if you make them like like into like an actual deck that we can buy, we will buy them. We would totally buy that. That's yeah. awesome. We love supporting small businesses, small artists, and anything handmade. We love handmade things. <laughs> Need warm clothes? Uh, it's just kind of cold. Oh, and it's fall. We should probably start making some. So if we click on our new tailoring bench, we can click on bills, and we can decide what kind of clothes we want to make. There's a lot of options. <laughs> we probably want to start with either jacket or duster or parka. 
because those will give us the best um, cold insulation for our people. And then once we have warmer clothes, then we can make hats and pants and shoes and beads and, you know, aprons and stuff, like whatever else that we want to do. So, so yeah. we should maybe make... Can we make a pelt coat? Do we have this? Um, we don't have that much pelt. We mostly have cloth, and so we'd want to make it out of cloth. So, so jacket? Cloth jackets, Should we yeah. just make three jackets? What about a parka? Is that stronger? Parka's warmer, yeah. So that can, um, the colder it gets, so if it gets to, like, negative whatever. Um, so we should probably use that. Let's do parkas. Yeah, that's good. I would usually do parkas. Uh, yeah, we'll three? do it three times. Because we have three people right yes. now? Yes. And then we also want to make sure we go into the work tab and we set somebody to tailor. Um, so 067 is our tailor. Let's bump up that priority to number one. So they do that right away. And there's an Android merchant. That's so we can cool. trade with them? Yeah. Um, jump to location. They should be making their way over it, yeah. Slowly. Great, so then we will select Raventail as our... Socializer, yep. Well, are they going to wake up now? Oops. Is there a way we can make this brighter? Um, not really. Okay. <laughs> it's nighttime. We can speed it up and wait till morning. Yeah. It's a dark night. <laughs> dark winter night, or fall night. All right, so we can buy a slave. No, David. we don't believe in we don't believe in slaves in our colony. Um, we can buy a warg, which is like a warthog, I think. Um, those might be cool. They're pretty expensive. Medicine, drugs, artificial brain. We don't really need any of this. We can save our money for another time. Yeah. We good? Yeah, I don't think we need any of that. It would be, honestly, it would kind of be good to have the extra person, but I don't know, because you can buy slaves and then free them, but then it's <clears> like <throat> they might not join you, so then we just wasted, well, it's not like we wasted the money. We freed somebody from slavery, and that's awesome, but we kind of need the help right now. <laughs> okay, so maybe we should do that then. So we got Raventail here. Where's our question mark? There we go. Let's Let's do it. Let's buy... A person, not that you can buy people, but only to free them. And it's a robot. Yeah, that's true. Alright. So one? So, yeah. Or you can just click the arrow, and that will move one over. Oh. So it's more than <clears throat> half of our money, but that's fine. We can also sell our sculpture for 118 bucks. That might offset the cost a little bit. I don't know if you want to sell the sculpture. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. We'll have ways of making money. Awesome. So we have David. So let's pause it. Um, let's go to his bio. See what David is good at. Social, intellectual, medical, crafting. Okay, this is... Oh, but they're incapable of crafting. And mining and violent. Okay, so they'll probably be our cook slash medical slash research okay why are they so good at crafting if they're incapable of it um it's probably because one of their backgrounds so if you hover over each uh person gets a childhood backstory and an adulthood backstory so david was uh, a battle droid to begin with and that gives them bonus to shooting and melee but something happened in their adulthood that i think makes it so yeah they're a subservient machine was bought by a family of wealthy humans made to entertain and perform basic labor around the house without questioning. David's owners treated David as nothing more than a pet. So better cooking and social skills, but they can't do any of that other stuff. So, well, damn. Well, so I let's... don't like that. <laughs> should we free them or should we just keep them around for a little bit, treat them really good and then free them? So hopefully they build yeah, relationships with people. That's and a good idea. And then they have friends... Um, so we want them to be cook number one. Mm -hmm. Is um, that okay? Or should we just get rid of it? Um, leave it at three, because then they'll do cooking um, when David's not around. And then... They're a tailor? Let's do, okay. yeah, smithing, tailor, and crafting. Let's set all of those to, like, two. Um, nice. 
So that's their second highest priority. If there's not food, because we want to make sure that there's food available for our colonists. Um, but then once all of the food is made, then they'll go into like making stuff like, you know, weapons or clothes or whatever. Uh, and let's do craft as well. Perfect. I think that's good. Uh, oh, and let's set doctor to one. And it's always good to have multiple doctors, so that way in case <clears throat> something happens to knife, David can help people. Great. Cool. Awesome. We got a new friend, David. Okay. Where is this, Where's this bear? bear? <laughs> it's over here. Over there. So knife... Maybe we make you do this over here first. Um, I say no. Let's keep building this wall. The outer wall will keep it out of this area altogether. Yeah, but I want it to be in here. I want a pet bear. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep the bear that murdered our kitties captive. Raventail says I'm making... Oh, yeah. I might post a video on my channel of them. Yes! Once you do that, please send us a link and we'll check it out. Yeah. Kitten too. Yay! <sighs> Can we like do like the same thing we do with guests, where we like try to? Oh yeah. Make if them you friends. Do slave. <laughs> um, emancipate. No interaction. Suppress. suppress. I don't like that. What, hover over. Emancipate. The grand creation. They will leave. So I think, okay, so, well, let's pause it. Um, uh, can you tame the bear? How are you? Can you tame me? Jeez. <clears throat> Curdlet, I'm not sure we can tame the bear. Can we? Maybe if we have like a high enough. Um... We can. If we wanted to, we could try and tame the bear. I don't think we have enough high enough animal quality. Um, and when you try and tame bears, there's a chance that they'll just start attacking you. Um, so, David, I think what we'll have to do is build a little prison. Or maybe designate one of these beds to be like a prison. Um, so let's do um, four colonists, click on four prisoners, and that'll turn it yellow. And then with David, we can imprison him and then recruit him once he's in prison. <laughs> okay. It's like a weird process. How do we put him in prison? Uh, so click on the slave tab on David. This is messed up. I hate <laughs> this so much. I don't like doing the slaves thing. And Prisden said, can you tame me, eat the bear? Yeah, we want to eat the bear eventually once we are able to, yeah. probably. And I'm not sure we can tame you. Um, we don't know a lot <laughs> about you, so um, let's continue talking appropriately, and hopefully we can figure that out. Um, cool. So what's next? So let's imprison, and then just let that happen. One of your colonists will come by and move them into the prison. Do they lock the door? Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, do we have anybody assigned? Click on work. Who is our warden? Raventail should come by. Um, and grab David at some point. Alright, yep, oh. There they go. Bye bye. You're going to jail. But only so we can convince you to be our friend and then let you out of jail. So now click on David. Now we have a prisoner tab. And now we want to uh, recruit. So if it doesn't work, what happens? Um, it, it, it always works, it just takes time. Um, and so every day, Raventail will come in there and 
chat with them and be friends and then like offer to let them join and it just might take a couple days but so he can't do anything in the meantime nope <laughs> unfortunately but once we recruit him he'll be like fully on our side and just be friendly and everything so but i'm afraid this bear is gonna go like over here yeah so we might want to build another wall going from like here, that here. side oh yeah that's a good idea let's see steel mm -hmm. or maybe from like here because we have a door to our um our m medical room i'm thinking we're gonna put a door <clears throat> Maybe we can, like, redesign this so people okay. can enter yeah, other places? Yeah, that's a good idea. Then let's just do that. So that'll get built, and then we're going to start moving some stuff around. Yeah. So get move this door. How do we move it? Deconstruct, it has to be? Um, yeah, you just uh, deconstruct the door or build a wall on top of the door and then just build another door. Um, yeah, we can go from there for I now. I and we can move the tailor and let's, bench. Let's reinstall and maybe put it on the south wall. Nice. Yeah, have it like a hallway of benches. <laughs> yeah. And then I want to connect this room, but David's in there right now. Mm -hmm. If we do that, can people still walk through? Looks like Raventail is going to try to convince them. Rethinking his loyalties. They communicate about their thoughts about government. Offered a chance to think about joining the colony. Ask David about his charm. <laughs> Talking about blackjack. Well, it's good they're bonding. Okay, so they said no, but the resistance went down like one, one point two points or something like that. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, I do want to redesign this. Maybe we can make this room bigger so this can be our production area. <laughs> yeah, good point, Curdlet. With Raventail, so Raventail is inspired taming, so they'll do, be like much better at trying to tame animals. Maybe we try and tame the bear. I don't know if it's that high, but let's see. We can click on the bear Whoops. and then actually pause it really quick because I don't want anybody to do anything stupid so now click on tame let's see no handler can tame grizzly bear requires level eight knife has four and there's a 30% chance it's gonna attack so we're gonna cancel that so we're gonna cancel that for now but we will do it once we build that how yeah. do we build that to taming other animals we just need to tame, yeah, like smaller animals that are less uh, aggressive, less pre predator animals. <laughs> um, if we go to, there's a tab across the bottom that says wildlife, sort of right of center. These are all of the wild animals that are on the map. So we can try taming like a turtle or something or a raccoon. Cool. Or, I don't know, yeah. Alright, well, I want us to start working on... Should this be a fence instead? No, bears can go right over fences. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, the wall's almost done. Let's see what's on the other side of this here. Yeah. Maybe let's build a wall across to the duck as well, and just slowly build out like a perimeter. So we're a little more safe. down here too um yeah it can be as big as you want or maybe... i think we can wait for now yeah see i also don't like how we have part steel part rock and part wood for all of our constructions but hopefully with time we'll fix that i think 
we can extend. Oh no, oh, we yeah, can't do like that. Oh yeah, that's like marshy soil. How do I cancel? Uh, yeah, you can click on them one by one, that's or fine. go to architects and then cancel. I think that's bigger. That's good enough. And then deconstruct. How do we deconstruct this wall? Um, the deconstruct. Click on that, and then you can just drag that over the stuff you want to deconstruct. Yeah. You might want to wait until the new wall is built, otherwise it'll just Won't be open. They do I that guess first? it doesn't matter. It depends. Sometimes people do deconstruction first. Sometimes people do building new stuff. So now this area we can start using too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we can build. Kind of have all the basics for now. Um, maybe uh, uh, I don't know. we can build our own little dedicated kitchen. Um, we could build. Uh, we could start working on like electricity and stuff. It might be good to set up some windmills and get some batteries going. Oh, but we're out of components. All of our components rotted away. <laughs> How do we get those? So if you look at the mountain, actually over here in our little area, um, there's a drought. Awesome. Um, We're right by the water. <laughs> I guess it's not going to rain. Thanks to High Mood, Raventail has experienced an inspiration. She will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Oh! Oh, wow. So now we can tame the bear. Let's, yeah. Okay. Um... So go to work, and then Raventail, we want to set to handle. Yeah, and it doesn't matter which level, because we're going to force them to do it. Knife? And then... Here, let's do it more than knife? Well, we're going to we're gonna set them to do it specifically. Oh, okay. Um, and then click on Raventail, and then, uh, wait, no, click on the bear. <laughs> Tame the bear. Cool. Now click on Raventail. Right click on the bear, which is where the little hand is. Oh. Still can't tame the bear? Still can't tame the bear. So, do we un. Yeah, un. Damn. Well, what other animals can Raventail. Um, click on wildlife. This shows you all of the animals. So, we could train. We could try and get a raccoon. <laughs> or. A lynx, maybe. What do raccoons do? They're just raccoons. I don't know, they're just animals. They chill. They eat stuff. So they're <laughs> just going to be a burden on our society? Pretty much, yeah. They don't kill things like our kitty cats? Um, They might. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever tamed a raccoon before. Alright, well, um, we can try it. Or, yeah. Where is it? Oh, no, uh, click on this again, and then click on the raccoon. There it is. It's by the edge of the map. Can you tame it? Requires a seven in animals to tame a raccoon. Damn. Hmm. Damn. Okay, I don't know. I guess maybe if there's like a squirrel or something, but I don't know if we really want to try and tame a squirrel. Sure. Okay, so that's going to be bad for our crops? Yeah, it might be, but are we also tilled the soil under our crop, crops, so maybe it won't? If you click on our crops, yeah, click on like any one of the individual rice plants. Ready to harvest? Okay, is all of our stuff ready to harvest? Yeah. Should we get them doing that? They'll do it in the morning. Yeah, somebody will do it. Alright, let's just let it play out. We'll see what happens. We've got a lot of people visiting. Raven Tail says they'll tame the bear, and that's great. And then Curdlet says if your colonists eat meat, you can allow the dead deer and your
colonists can then grab and butcher it? Oh! I think that deer has been dead a while. I think it was like, it was not a good deer. But yeah, thank you. There's no more things that we can hunt here? Oh yeah, we can hunt any of this. Like tame it? Can we tame any of these? Yeah, so um, this is so this column is like tame. So if you say you want to tame the doe, you just check on this, click that, and change it to a check mark, and somebody will try and tame it. But we don't have a high enough level, so uncheck it. And then this row is hunt. So if you want somebody to go hunt a doe, you can click on that, and somebody, whoever our hunter is, I but think. But we it's... don't really need to do that right now. Not right now. Maybe in the winter. Yeah, winter might be tough. <laughs> We don't have a huge amount of food stockpiled. Let's see. No, they still said no. It's going down though. Yeah, they still said no, but the resistance is going down. So that's good. And Kurdlet, if you want us to name David after you, we're happy to do that since you're participating <laughs> in our live and stuff. So just let us know what you'd like us to name David, as long as it's appropriate. Yeah. Our kitties. So what are we going to do about food? Um... I'm not sure. We should probably, um, okay, uh, pause it actually, because we need to do a couple of things. Um, so look at the mountain over here to the left. So this kind of like rust color, if you click on that, that'll say compacted machinery. If we mine that, we'll get a couple components. I think we need to do that. Um, so actually click on architect and then orders and mine and then we'll just mine out like yeah at least those three to start and we'll see if we find any more when we're digging that'll give us the stuff we need to build a couple windmills and a couple batteries once we have that set up then we can set up a like a freezer like a walk-in freezer for us to put food and be able to store it and it won't go bad then we can just i think probably fishing is probably what's gonna get us through winter because I think people can fish in the winter, but our crops won't be able to grow. So that will give us a way to store food. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be tough to get through winter, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And if anybody in chat has any advice on how we can get some food stockpiles going, let us know. I think it's going to be a, a long winter. Walls are going up. Hopefully fewer of our cats will be eaten. Less less cats, <clears throat> fewer cats. Yeah, we do need to feed them though too, so hopefully Yeah. They don't Ooh. what's up? We have another sculpture. It looks like Ooh. a I think we looked at this one. Yeah, untitled with a hair. Oh, so it's we already placed it, they just haven't gotten around to? Uh yeah, nobody's installed it yet. But there's another one that's like a monkey shape. It's, it's a cat. Called Isolated craps. <laughs> this piece bears an image of a cat lying in a bed next to her newborn, a cat, <laughs> who is glowing softly blue. They're a newborn, a dog? Like, what else would it be? <laughs> yeah. The scene takes place inside a newly built district. This depiction tells the story of the cat giving birth to the cat on 9th of Juggest. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah, let's place Beautiful that. Beautiful artwork. Very nice. Place that also in our duck shrine. Yeah, maybe in the head of the duck somewhere. Cool. Opposite the urn. All right, a desperate refugee named Inessa is approaching. Inessa claims to have lost her home in a recent attack. Inessa begs for your permission to stay at Whammon and Whammon first for eight days so she can rest and regroup. In return, she offers to work and fight for free during that time. If you make her happy, she may offer to join you. She uh, may also reward you later for helping her, but there is no way to know her true intentions. 
This refugee is not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest her without diplomatic consequences. Should we arrest her so we can just <laughs> convince her to stay? I think we just accept her help and um, just try and make her happy. Because then she has a pretty good chance of either staying, uh, deciding to stay and live with us, or giving us a gift before she leaves. And then even if she does leave, she might end up coming back. Okay. Yunessa has arrived, so we have somebody to help out for eight days. Cool. So. Awesome. So let's see what they're good at. How about you go play a game, like, real quick? Look. Can we tell them to go play some horseshoes? Nope. No. They'll do that on their own. Yeah, they'll do that on their own. So click on the work tab. Oh, they're really good at planting. Nice. So we should do that number one for so, them? So, yes. Yeah. So growing and plant cut. Let's make those their number one. Cool. And then also maybe number two is research because they're pretty good at research. Cool. And then we can probably leave that as it is. Great. So now we have a dedicated plant person, which is good because then we can have a bigger stockpile oh of food. Oh no, we're going to have another kitten! There's some loving happening on the on table. On the tailor table! <laughs> Making some fashion. Wow. Oh, Love they that. can just go through? Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on here. Things are coming along. And then in the chat, oop, in the chat it says, Kurdet says, if your colonists eat meat, you can allow the dead deer. Oh yeah, we said that. Do you have the mod to smoke meat slash veg? That can help with keeping the food Ooh. good. Then when the cold hits you, you have a natural freezer. That's a good point. Uh, do we, if you go to architect, oh, um, oh, I think we need to research it. Click on research. Uh, it would be one of the top ones. Do you want to take... Um, um, mushroom cultivation, salt preservation. Properly preserve meat with salt to make delicious sausages. So I don't know if we have smoking, but we can salt things. Maybe we'll put that on the list to be researched. Um, and we'll put it before artisan furniture and after waste disposal. Cool. <clears throat> Great. Awesome. So we're working on that. And then we have a visitor thing here. A stew keeper from Lurcha Covenant is visiting the colony. He is named Benchanironio Calogno. Go. Calugo. Calugo. <laughs> Bantra Ironio Calugno. Calugo. Right? You try it. <laughs> <laughs> Bantra Nironio Calugo. I don't know. Bantra Nin. Bantra. <laughs> Bantra Ironio Calugo. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. So hopefully they come and stay. Yeah. So they'll be in the guest tab. They'll stay in one of the guest rooms. Hopefully, if they can. Yeah, depending on how much money they have. So for guests, how much should that bed be? Fifty. Sure. Um, we yeah. Oh, whoops. That's a lot. Hundred and ten. How do I undo? Oh. Uh, minus yeah. Cool. Fifty. That's probably good. Awesome. And this one I think is still free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they stayed in the $10, oh, yeah. $10 That's dollar one. Oh, okay, cool. So we're making a little bit of money from our our resort. <laughs> Honestly, it's not a terrible place to stay. Yeah. How can we um, make people talk to Anessa more? Um, they just naturally will over time. Well, they don't like Ingrid. Yeah, and as long as we have like enough recreation, we have food, you know, we keep their mood up, um, that's what's going to be important. If you click on needs, you can see what kind of stuff they need to be happy. Uncovered groin slash chest. Um, all right, I guess they're not wearing pants. We can make them some pants, they'll be happy. Okay. <laughs> so, bills. bills. Yep. Add bill, make pants. Mm -hmm. And we might as well make 
four pairs of pants, so everybody has like a fresh pair. After wearing pants for like a while, they could become tattered or become like dirty or whatever. So it's generally good to like once a year make a new set of clothes for people. Should we make new shirts then too? Do we have enough? Uh, not right away. We can if you want to. Um, we're probably good because they're wearing parkas too. Uh, give me ideas for the lover's tarot card. Ooh. With mushrooms? Can you make the mushrooms into hearts? Ooh. That would be so cute. Um, I would love to give you more ideas. However, I haven't seen your deck, so I don't know your style. <laughs> but yes, the mushrooms into hearts might be really fun. And maybe, or maybe even the mushrooms, you make them into people kissing each other. And then it has a mushroom heart above them. Just an idea. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. I think those are really good. Great. This is going well. We haven't had a bear attack in a while. That's good. That is good. How many cats do we have? We have three. Okay, that's, that's manageable. Yep. And I think another one's on the way. We saw the lovemaking. All right, <laughs> let's see. Please join us. Please join us. 067 has a shoot frenzy. Shoot more accurately. I don't think that they're one of our shooters, but no, that's cool. That's alright. So, still lowering resistance. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll probably take a couple days. Oh no. They offended them three times. No! We want to make sure their stay is good. So it's already automatic that they we like cater to them? Yeah, if you go to guest. Because we oh, yeah. made all this stuff the default. Yeah. No shopping area, so that's not good. We don't have any stuff to sell. Once we have like, um, uh, once we're a little more established, we can have a bunch of extra like clothes and stuff that we make and we can put them on little shelves and then designate an area as like our shopping room. <laughs> and then people who visit can go into that room and they'll pay for anything. That's cool. Uh, that's like on the shelves. Do you guests eat our food too? Mm-hmm. Knife, what are you doing? Should we build a door? Um, we can. Sure. Bears can't go through doors, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. For the angel, I will make it a mushroom with wings. That's awesome. That is so cool. I Hi. love it. Hi, Phoenix. Hey, sexy. Hey, sexy. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Um, we'll build a door there and a door there. And maybe build a door between our, like, multi-purpose room and the storage. Just so people don't have to go outside if they don't need to. Yes, I'm hoping that this is deconstructed soon. Yeah, somebody should get to it. I don't know. Who's, like, I don't know. Maybe we have a bunch of construction stuff we've lined up. Building something. Over here, knife is working on the door. All right, David, come on. <laughs> come on, our team. We are saving you from slavery. Down to 11 points. All right. We could say that like it's taking so long because he was like built and designed to be like a house entertainment servant kind of robot. So it's taking a lot of time for us to convince it um, to be like its own person and to have independence and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can kind of like role play <laughs> our own. Yes, I scenario. like that. And then I do want to expand the med room 
eventually. Mm -hmm. This all will just expand to just be one big building, I guess. Yeah. We'll make, maybe make a huge hallway. Maybe these two rooms, maybe we can knock down the wall and this can be like the hallway and then we have stuff coming off of it because yeah. people will come in that main area and then be able to like walk through the multi-purpose room. Sure. So architect, structure, whoop, yep. and deconstruct. Perfect, you got it. Nice. Maybe we could have like more, another row of bedrooms or something. Yeah, we'll make good use of the space. Yeah. And Nessa's killing it on the fields. Yeah. That's great. So hopefully they'll finish that soon so they can start doing more research, right? Mm hmm Their stay was okay. Score 29. Damn, I think it's because somebody was talking to them and they offended them a couple times in a row. <laughs> oh well. That's okay. Hey, the wall was just deconstructed. Yay! Oh, we want to build another wall there so the rooms are separated. I think I did. Uh, I don't, it, there's nothing queued up. Oh. Yeah. Well. Right. Is it steel or is it wood? We can do either. The, the wall is half wood, half steel. Great, and now this room's bigger, which is great. We need more light in there. Is that furniture? Yep. Maybe we can make it fancier. Um, do you have enough? Yeah, the dark light is the blue one, and it doesn't actually give off that much light. You probably, if you want a fancier one, just do the regular brazier. Brazier. Yeah. We could even have this in the middle of the room. Sure. Let's move this. We just moved it, but whatever. Yeah. Um. Put it there for now. Yeah, that works. And then... Once that's moved, we'll put the brazier there, and we can add another bed. Where's the bed? Mm -hmm. Did we do steel beds or that, those are wooden, right? Um, they might be steel actually. Nice. And then we want. This one? I like the dark one for the bed. So the only thing is that when um, when your people have to do surgery and it's too dark, it affects their ability to do surgery. <laughs> Are they evenly... They're not evenly spaced, I see. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Well, we'll just put it there for now. Cool. Alright, they're sleeping, so let's fast forward. And Ness is just hard at work. I wonder where they're gonna sleep. Have they? Where have they been sleeping here? Oh, we don't have a bed for them. So maybe we let's set one of these to uh, uncheck for guests. Cool. Now they'll have a place to sleep. Once they're ready, they're just hard at work. Mm -hmm. They're eating. Wow! Back to work. And how is Anessa liking their stay here? They're in a pretty good. good mood. Feeling content. Let's click on their needs. Oh yeah, they still need a pair of pants, but we're working on that. We've got a somewhat impressive dining room, good recreation. They also have an uncovered chest, so should we get them a sh like a jacket? Um, click on gear. I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, they have a shirt. It says groin slash chest. So what's so, that mean? So that just means it's either the groin or the chest. Oh. But we can see that they have something on their chest, okay. so they need paint. Aren't they the tailor? Or, um, oh, we made David the tailor? David, and there's somebody else that can do tailoring, so yeah, it might have to wait until David. How many more days do they have here? Um, click on quests. Oh. Um, 
shoot. Okay. Um, it, yeah, it's automatically closed. Oh. Uh, click on quests. Um, guest departs in six point Okay, days. so we have some time. Okay, manhunter pack. <laughs> this might be bad. A pack of manhunting porcupines have entered the area. Driven insane by the disease known as Scaria, they will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They won't attack doors unless they see somebody going through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. They also won't attack powered off tur turrets. Let's, they will leave the area in one or two days. You can hide and wait them out or fight them. Can we just ignore it for a little bit? Jump to the location. Let's see how many there are. It looks like there's two. That's not that bad. Uh, okay. They're coming straight for yeah, us? Yeah, pause it. <laughs> okay. Um. Should we attack? I don't know. What do you What do you guys think in chat? What should we do? Should we attack the porcupines, or should we just have our people go inside our little compound and lock the door, and just wait a day or two and like wait it out? No, it's a tricky one. I'm gonna play time just a little slow. Oh. We have visitors. They're afraid to enter because of the porcupines. If you send them away, they might stay in the area and come back later. So do we want to let people in knowing that they might get attacked by porcupines? Should we just go attack them? Because now we have two people that can attack Raventail and Inessa. So should we send Knife, Raventail, and Inessa to go for him? Can Inessa attack? Yeah. They said that they would fight. Oh, yeah, but they need to have, like, a good skill. Um, let's send these people away, because we're still going to have to fight them, and I don't want people getting attacked by porcupines. Um, okay, pause it really quick. Click on Anessa. What is their shooting is two and melee is three. Good it's enough. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not good, but it's good enough to help defend us. Um, <clears throat> in our storage, we have a revolver. We have, like, another pistol. Uh, right click on it and um, have Inessa equip the revolver. Uh oh, oh. it froze. Uh oh. Oh. oh, we dropped some frames. Oh, hopefully everybody is in fine in chat. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So they're going to go get that. Um, let's. Uh, how close are the porcupines? How do we know where they are? Uh, we just kind of have to look for them. Oh, there they are. They're the red dots. Okay. So, let's... Um, probably enter from here. Yeah, because this is all walled off, so they can't come from anywhere over here. Oh, and this is like a big marsh, so we won't be able to build a wall through that. We'll have to either go around it or go like this or something. Oh, that kind of sucks. <sighs> Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so let's get knife and 067. Uh, trap them. And get into 067 as well. Cool. And then let's right click and just park them like right here. This is probably where they're going to come through. Cool. And then once Inessa has their revolver. Oh, and they have a little shiv, but the revolver will be better. If they leave, will they take it with them? Uh, yeah, but we can just tell them to drop it as soon as uh, they're done. Oh, shoot, we're low on food. Cool. All right. Yep, we've got a knife in front. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Please, save yourself. Nice. Get the oh, other. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Pause it. Oh, it's dead. Oh, awesome. Oh. So now Whew. we can undraft them. Yep. Awesome. And then who will harvest them? Uh, click on it, and then click allow, and then do the same thing with the other one. Haul urgently, or no? Uh, yeah, we can. Do haul urgently, yep, that means they'll just grab them immediately. Awesome. Oh man, I was worried about that. I was worried that we might get hit, but um, it wasn't too bad. Cool, now we have some food. Nice. So should we maybe block 
more off or no? To prepare for future? Yeah. How are we doing on resources? We need to do a little mining. Oh, there's some more compacted machinery. We should flag that to be mined. So that's architect, orders, mine. Yep. Should get that full corner there. Perfect. We need to find some steel. We're running a little low on steel. Um, I think there's some over here. Yeah. So flag that whole chunk to be mined. Cool. That'll be good for right now. We might want to flag some more trees to be chopped down. If you chop wood. Yeah, just something around here. Perfect. Knife is working on that. Great work. David, we need you. Medical emergency. Severe illness. Um, click on David. Malnutrition. Oh, it just doesn't have enough food. Why haven't we been feeding him? Um, I think we're just low on food. <laughs> I think Raventail is great at getting some food for them right now. Yeah. Um, I think we should do our thing uh, where we find some berries. Oh, and there's the drought. I forgot about the drought. So do we even have berries? I don't think so. These are the berry bushes and they're all brown. Wow. Ooh, this is tough. Um, let's go to work, and I think knife is our fisher. We might need to make knife just do fishing for a while. Yeah, let's set that to level one, and then construction level two. Yeah, cool. Curdlet says more farms, more hunting, more fishing. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. Yeah. That's a good idea. And Ibitero blocks YT. Hi, welcome, sexy. So glad that you're here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think our farms are, um, I forgot about our drought, so I think that's why our farms are going a little bit slower. And it's not great timing, because winter is coming. We're like 10 days away from winter. Please, David, join our side. Please, we need you. Yeah, this is tough because we're investing just food and resources into David right now and they're not helping out at all. Yeah. Oh, 6.9. Almost, <laughs> almost oh down. Oh my goodness. Come on, David. What is, what are they working on? What is this again? Uh, oh, it's marble more sculpture. Maybe we can like hold off on the sculptures for now. They're actually good because we can uh, just keep making Slow sculptures down. and that will make people happy. And then we'll get more guests, and more guests will pay for more stuff. Uh, and then we can also sell excess, uh, like our extra sculptures. And they go for at least 100 bucks each, so okay. it's a good source of money. You can be like, we can start off as art traders. <laughs> cool. And then we want to make this bed. Oh. Yep, I keep clicking. So there you go. Um, for medical. Did Hayden fix that? I don't no. think so. He's doing good. Yeah. Looks like pretty much everyone's asleep. Except for David. David doesn't sleep, just walks around. Yeah, robots don't sleep. They just eat food and that recharges their batteries. That's great. It's good to have robots. <laughs> it is actually, because, and they also, um, yeah, they're a little bit beefier with some things, so that's nice. All right. What is that? Hover over that. Angler fish. fish. Oh. The only fish named for their characteristic and predation. Interesting. Cool. We need more meals though, right? So should we... Oh. Yeah, who's our cook? 
it is Raventail. So Raventail, maybe that should be that, priority? Yeah, that is your priority. We gotta focus on food right now. What's the handle again? Oh, for animals. Take care of animals, yeah. Oh, they're playing chess. Yay, bonding time. Oh, and we also want to move this chair. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Like here? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, please join David, please. No! 4.9. So close. We need you, David. Hopefully and they just work all night? Because they don't sleep? They work all night? David? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Robots? They'll work, they'll do recreation, they just they'll keep doing their own stuff without sleeping. Cool. Oh no, the bear's on the <laughs> inside the perimeter. How? Did it go all the way around? Yeah, I mean, it just went like that. That's why I was saying we kind of need to finish the wall, but we gotta wait till it's outside now. Darn! Go away, bear! I think our cats are staying inside now, so, because they're sticking to the animal zone. That's good. Oh, starvation! Vanessa yep. is starving. Uh, cool. Click on Raventail. What are you doing, Raventail? Where are you? Meditating. meditating. Okay, once Raventail's done meditating. Butcher before it goes bad. What do we need to butcher? Oh, the hedgehogs. Oh, shoot. Click on the hedgehogs up there. Uh, spoils in 1.3 days. Okay, um, pause it really quick. Because um, I think Raventail here. Raventail is the one that loves animals, so they'll cook, but they won't butcher. Yeah, so we need to so assign another person to cooking, just so that they butcher. And that can be 067. And let's just make them do that right now, and let's make Raventail do some cooking. Uh, refuel the stove. And then they'll cook in a minute. Great. We out of uh, we're out of stuff to cook. Okay, okay, uh, it's paused. So who is fishing? Um, knife should be fishing, <laughs> and then Raventail and Zero Six Seven are going to prepare the food. But we can check on the rice as well and see how quickly that'll be. Fifteen percent. Oh, it's down to seventy percent growth rate. Normally that's two hundred percent. So it's growing it's so not slow. Good. Oh no. Well, at least they're butchering. That's good. People are starving and they're just eating raw meat. Awesome. Raventail, you're supposed to be cooking the meat. Whatever. As long as people aren't starving. Got one meal and six fish. Alright, well, Raventail will cook <laughs> more. Yes, sweep, sweep, sweep. And that's it. What kind of have they done research yet? Um, they're working through our research. I think. I don't know. tables? Um, I don't think so. Oh, excellent. That's Comfort great. plus zero five. Nice. Vanessa has a nice end table. <laughs> um, Curdlet says you can have more than one fishing spot, I think. Yeah, we have several. Yeah, we have a bunch of water. All of this All is of fishing this, spot. Yeah. And then Tamazi says, well, hello, my dears. Hey, sexy. So glad that you're here. They say, glad to see you on Twitch. Us too. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we just started 
uh, live streaming on Twitch last night, so this is kind of a trial for us, and we will be doing more content on Twitch soon, including pole dancing and art and all that kind of stuff, but we were in the mood for video games, so that's what we're doing right now. Tamazi says, miss you both. Aw. Tamazi, we know you in real life, right? What's, who are you? <laughs> who, who are you? We don't recognize the unity, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe if you're on our Discord or our Instagram, send us a DM if you don't want to tell people in public who you are. I don't know. Or just hang out. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. It's Mike? Burnlar? Michael Burnlar? Let us know, because if so, that's dope. So we got some sleeping, and this is at work. This is the research, right? Yeah, that's our research Good, table. Good, we need that. Yes, it is! Hey, Michael! Michael. Hey. Oh my gosh, we're so glad you're here! We didn't know you did Twitch. How are things? We want to know everything. How's your Sunday? Someone's starving. We're super low on food. How? Their knife is fishing. I think they're just between all of our people and our cats. We are just not making enough food. Please, David, please. Please, come. David, we need you. Um, Michael says, I don't stream, I just watch. Nice! Well, that's great. We love that. I'm brand new to Twitch. I've actually not really watched a lot of Twitch, um, just what B has shown me. But, um, yeah, we just start jumping right into streaming, I guess. <laughs> David, are you serious? He's, he's down to 0 0.7. So, next, so time, next time, it might go through. We'll see. Michael says, my Sunday is going well. Just had the boyfriend up for the weekend and some other friends. Awesome! Nice. We love that. I would love to know more about your boyfriend. That sounds fun. <laughs> right. And Michael, how did you find out about the stream? Was it on Instagram? Oh, we have more art. Where is that? Oh, here. Yep. It's the two things in the crates. So, Wisdom by Despair. On this piece is an illustration of a group of smugglers and poets eating carrots together. The image contrasts challenge with oppression. Provocatively, the scene takes place inside a town built near a mountain. Sounds familiar. It's very provocative. <laughs> yes. Where should we put these? Maybe in here? Yeah. Make it a little more beautiful. And David is passed out because they are starving. No! Uh, <laughs> How do we feed him? Um, somebody will come and save him. It'll probably be, if you click on Raventail uh, and then right click, um, re prioritize taking him to bed, yeah. Poor David. Knife is fishing. It's good. That's our main source of food right now. Maybe um, let's go into wildlife. Hold on, I want to oh. put place our art. And this one's called A Tune, and we can oh. read about the art. Um, go out, click on the yep. On this sculpture is an artwork of an actor surrounded by outlaws, and it's called A Tune. Cute. Michael says, yep, saw on your Instagram story, and I was like, oh, I have to hop on and say hi. We're so yeah, glad you awesome. did. Thank you so much, Michael. It's so nice to see you. And B is living with me now, so we hang out a lot, and it's so yeah. cool to have, like, LAS, um, yeah. like, good vibes. So we're so glad that you're here, too. Knife, don't eat raw fish. They're just, yeah. Dave, we need something to feed David to. This is brutal. I don't know. We might not make it. I mean, if the, the drought's got to let up soon, or we've got to get David recruited and just fishing 24 hours a day or something. Michael says, also I have to say, you both look amazing. B, I love your sweater. It looks so cozy. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, Michael. Yeah. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, 
I am too, you just can't see it. Yeah, it's a nice Sunday. And I'm sure you look amazing too, Michael. Alright. This bear, go away, bear. cat. No, cat. So last night, uh, so we we started with two cats and we are our whole goal is to be like cat breeders and have like a whole cat academy and have like a bunch of cats and then be able to sell them to people and our goal is to have as many people have as many cats as possible. However, last night two bears strolled up and just started munching on some of the newborn kitties. So we've been trying to build a wall around our compound to try and not let the bears in, but now the bear just kind of went around the wall. It's a whole thing. So we've got to figure out how to deal with these bears. <laughs> Michael says, LMAO, I haven't changed out of PJs either. I see what you did there, cat Adamy. <laughs> Cute. Raven Tail says, eat the porcupine. Where's... Didn't, did we do that? We, I think we I think ate we the did. porcupines already, yeah. We might need to just hunt some more. If we click on wildlife, I don't know if the fishing is doing enough. Let's, um... Maybe some of the boom... Oops. Not the boomalopes. They're going to explode. Um, oh, right. Either does? let's do the bow, the three does. That'll be a lot of meat. Yeah. Who's going to do that? Uh, whoever's our hunter. I don't know who we have assigned to hunting. Uh, nobody. So let's set zero six seven. No, let's make that their number one for now. And just them? Yeah, that's probably good. Cause, uh, yeah. Could you eat the bears? We could eat the bears. The problem is we have to hunt the bears first, and bears get very angry when you try and hunt them. I don't know if you've seen bears in real life, but bears, <laughs> they're they're cute. I don't know. I think bears are cute and cuddly. Um, They're very cute. I hear they are really smelly, though. Yeah. <laughs> you can they smell them angry. for like a mile away. Um, Michael says, yeah. B, we'll have to catch up sometime soon so I can hear all about your move. Definitely. Yeah. I've been going through a lot of stuff recently and just, yeah. But we'll have to catch up soon. Yeah, B's been a rock star here. So even with the stress and stuff, B's like amazing. So I'm really glad that they're here. All right, a corporate drone from World Union of Kodos is visiting the colony. These people who have relationships with their colonists or prisoners is in the arriving group. So... It's 067's wife. Awesome. Oh man, remember we set that. That's great. <laughs> their wife is visiting. I wonder if we can try and befriend them and recruit them. What is this? Is this half eaten? Badger dead, not refrigerated. Oh yeah, haul that urgently. I think the bear probably ate that. Oh, and the lynx, too. Yeah, haul that urgently, too. Ooh, what's this? The hedgehog's dead, but that's desiccated. It's just bones. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I think this is all the bear's hunting ground, because it's right outside of our... Oh, shoot. That was the meteorite that fell. Remember we saw the... Oh, this? That's jade. Ooh, so we don't we'll want to... mine that soon. Yeah, we don't want to mine it yet, uh, because... Uh, jade is very valuable, and as soon as we mine it, it gets added to our colony's wealth. And then um, when we get raids and stuff, the difficulty of the raid is based off of the wealth of our colony. I see. So if we have like all of this extra stuff that's super expensive uh, just laying around, then we're going to have more and more people want to be like, oh, I want to take that. So we'll leave that for now until we have something to do with it. But nobody else is going to come and get it or anything, so... Cool, and we have a guest here. Nice. Oh yeah, that's um, 067's wife. Nice. They're paying to stay here? Why don't you stay in bed with 067? <laughs> and let's set 067, click on them, and then click on the butcher table, because we just grabbed that badger, and we don't want it to go bad before we can butcher it. Okay. Michael says, aw, sending lots of love and hugs to you both. Us too, mm. baby. We miss you. When you come visit. <laughs> you can be on stream with us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. How are we doing on food? Nope, not good. We have 23 badger meat now. That's and good. some more other type of meat. And now some fish. Um, click on Raventail. And then right click on David. Uh, cannot feed David, no food. Ah. Oh no, is he gonna die? Click on David. Oh no, okay. 
They're okay. Food is 13. Uh, stable health. Okay, cool. I thought they were, they've been starving this whole time, but they had food, so. Cool. Um, click on their prisoner tab. Let's see what their resistance is 0 0.7. They're so close. It'll happen today. David, we need you, David. And then how is Anessa liking their stay here? Ooh, they're not kind good. of in a bad mood. It's because they're hungry. Tamazi's now following Michael. Yay, thank Yay. you for following Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yay, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Let's keep fast forwarding. Michael says, oops, I was like, wait, something's missing. <laughs> Thank you so much for following us. We really appreciate it. Okay, we have a quest. Oh, this is just saying that um, if we have a high enough title in the Empire, we can just pay them to like let us off the planet and just buy a ship or something. If we don't, we don't want to research no. a ship, um, so we probably don't want to do this. Okay. Uh, David? <gasps> resistance has been broken. So yeah, so next time they talk, they what? should What? Oh my gosh. Damn. That's taking too long. Do we have meals? We have some fish. Mm. Oh, we just hunted a doe. That's so let's great. click on 067. Before they go back and keep hunting, we want to butcher that. So click on the butcher station. <laughs> Yeah, prioritize that. Oh, we have two does. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Frick, yeah. So is it Raventail that needs to cook? Yes. Raventail, what what are you doing? Um, I have no idea. Meditating. Meditating? They are the leader. They oh. are the, like the spiritual leader, so that makes sense. And now they're cooking some meals. So they're on their way to cook. Awesome. We have 163 meats. Ooh, that'll last. That'll get us through the day, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Can you eat other people, Raventail says in chat? Yes, you can. Our colonists are not set to be cannibals. So if we, if we can force them to eat human meat, but that will put them in a really bad mood. And mm. we'll probably be even worse off. Uh, <laughs> so we can't rename David until they're on mm, our team? Yeah, that's correct. So Michael, we're going to name David after you. Because Raventail, as you can see, um, has uh, a character named here. We like to name our characters after people yeah. in chat. And there's somebody in chat called Knife something, and that's why we have Knife. Medical emergency. David's collapsed from malnutrition. We're, we have meals. We're good. We're going to feed you. That's true. We're getting more fish now. Okay. We're, we're getting a little bit of food. So, Michael, sorry, you're starving right now? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. Raventail helped. There we go. Oh, then they're feeding them right now. Okay. <laughs> Jason Todd, welcome. Hey, sexy. I join and all I hear is our people are not cannibals. <laughs> hey, sexy. So <laughs> glad that you're back. Um, yeah, we, they are not cannibals. It's highly looked down upon in our society. So we're going to try to avoid that. Yes, we're trying to free David from slavery. Oh, oh, is this it? Please! Is this the conversation? Please! Do you believe, chat? Do you believe? <laughs> Please join our team! Raventail described loving, loving to, to David. David. Really? <laughs> okay. If that's what it takes. Oh! Hey! Yay! We did it! <laughs> Alright, so let's make sure that... Uh, he's doing what he needs to do. David, awesome. What do we want to prioritize for David? Um, what do we want, Dave? Can't David can't do any cooking or anything. Oh, David can cook. Yeah, let's set cooking to one. Uh, entertain and warden to two. And then we can just leave the rest of that for now. Awesome, Great. awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, and we, <laughs> so I'm hungry in your life. I'm getting a kind of hungry too. We yeah. might order some food. Order some food. Why yeah. not? Just what keep you, this train going. What do y'all think we should eat? What's good gamer food? 
<laughs> Taco Bell and like Mountain Dew or something. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Gamer fuel. Um, Although I'm not really in the mood for Taco Bell. Maybe yeah. like a pizza or... Pizza might be nice. It'd be easy. It'd be easy, yeah. Tomazi said, oh, Michael Chinese said, I food? believe we got did it. We got um, Chinese food the other day. That's true. It was yeah. really good. And then Curdlet says, that did it. Yes. And then Raven's Hill says, random, but what is your favorite candy? Ooh. I don't really like I'm not really a sweets kind of person. I mean, I like like Haribo, like German um, gummy bears, because they're not super sweet. I really like fruity, but that's kind of what I'm into. Pizza, LMAO, like really greasy pizza. Yeah, let's just get like real dirty, drippy. We have, we have a dirty pizza near <laughs> us. It's called Big Daddy's Pizza, and it's so greasy, but Ooh, it's really good. Is that what we got last time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. So how do we make this bed, this one, it's no longer for prisoners. I want to make it for David. For prisoners, for colonists. And remember David, because David's a robot, David doesn't need to sleep. They just eat. Oh. And that refuels them. So we can just leave that bed open for yeah, now. For now. Or we, we can set it as a guest bed for now. And then when we have another colonist, um, then we can turn it back if we need to. It's a good idea. All right. Oh, and did we want to rename David? Yes. Do you want to be Michael? Do you want to be Mike? Yeah. Do you want to be Big Daddy? Ooh. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. I'm so glad that we have finally freed him. He was a slave and now he is free. <laughs> Big Daddy for sure, you okay, got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Big Daddy, with that, the military hat, it's perfect. I love the look. <laughs> yeah, all caps, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I kind of want to make it Big Zaddy. What do you think <laughs> about that, Michael? Should I keep it Big Daddy or Big Zaddy? What's the Zaddy thing? I've I seen don't... that on like TikTok and stuff. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. I'm not young. I'm not hip. Big Zaddy, it's <laughs> approval. Okay. okay, good. Perfect. Um, yeah, if you're in the chat and know what Zaddy means, uh, please let us know. David Big Zaddy, number sixty-one. <laughs> New recruit, David. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. How are we doing? All <laughs> Michael says I don't get it either, but I still use it. <laughs> Big Zaddy. <laughs> Let's uh, click on the, the, the cook station, the, one? yep, the stove, and then go to Bill's. Let's make it so they prepare more meals. Let's do like 20. So we have some meat sitting around and I don't want that to spoil. All right. Nice big zaddy in the kitchen. Yes. Awesome. Yas queen. Yes. Making sure we don't starve over here. That's great. And then we still, do we have no more statues? That's good. Yeah. All right. I noticed that, was it 067 took off their weird little pillowcase hat? Oh yeah, they put on the other military good, hat. Good, because that was a little sus. <laughs> Tamazi says, stuffing my face just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want to take over for a second? I'll sure. be right back. Yeah. I'm gonna make some All tea. Right. Uh oh. Woo! Uh oh. All right. So our guest has nothing to eat, which is kind of a problem. But um, let's see. Jumper, do you have like dietary restrictions? Because we have meals. Sometimes people will come by and be like, oh, I'm a vegetarian, but all of our meals are made out of meat because our rice is not growing. So let's see, can you grill mushrooms? In real life? Yeah, you can, I love grilling mushrooms. I like making like a big portobello mushroom burger, like getting a big mushroom, throwing that on the grill. It's so, yeah, Brenna, you might not be able to hear Brenna, but Brenna was saying it's really good. Um, in the game, uh, I think you can grill uh, mushrooms. Uh, B, what's the link to your Discord? I will send that to you. Uh, off stream. <laughs> mm. 
but yeah, in the game, you can grow mushrooms. We're not, um, I think you have to have a specific type of colony. Like you have to be undergrounders and you have to like live under mountains and then you can grow mushrooms. Um, but our, our people are not, unfortunately, they're not mushroom eaters. All right. So what's going on? We're cooking food. Our people aren't starving. That's good. We like it when people don't starve. We don't have any guests just yet. Oh, we do have a guest. That's right. Um, let's see. Do -ba -do -do. I love this music. So I've played this game for years and years and years, but this music is like the soundtrack to my life. Alright. Let's maybe what are we doing uh let's just do a wooden wall for now and do maybe something like this and then we'll need to go go like this <laughs> and then we're like cut off and we have like our little compound where's the bear <laughs> Uh, cause we don't want the bear around. I don't know. I don't think the bear is in our compound, so. Did you get rid of the bears? They were on a murder spree last stream. Yeah, so that was the first thing that we took care of uh, when we started this stream. As you can see, we kind of were building these walls. Um, and uh, we're still kind of working on that. The bears, we also set a zone for our cats to all stay inside. Uh, so hopefully there's less just of our cats available. Oh, there's one of the bears. And they're hunting other stuff, which is good. Um, so we have, we're, we're kind of still in the process of dealing with the bears. Yeah, we're trying to prevent them from murdering all of our loved ones, which is, uh, you know, good. Uh, <laughs> This game kind of reminds me of Stardew. Yeah, it's kind of like a mixture between Stardew and like The Sims a little bit because each of our characters has needs and stuff that they want to do and like social and they can be in good moods and bad moods. Uh, and then it's also kind of like a sci-fi colony. I mean, obviously, because we're building a little colony. But yeah, it's really interesting. You can really do whatever you want in this game. Uh, like we're kind of making art and trading it we can just we can be drug dealers um we can we're trying to work towards having like our cat sanctuary um you can we can just be traders and not have like a compound and just constantly move between places this game you can pretty much do whatever you want all right i'm just gonna let this go a little bit Steal the bear's hunt. That's not a bad idea. Only 29% of... Oh, 29% is missing. So yeah, let's see if we can haul that. Who, who can do that? Who can haul? Am I missing anything? Um, just explaining what's going on with the bears. Just talking to chat. Um, I'm working on... I kind of extended our wall to completely close in our compound. Um, so hopefully the bears won't just like wander in and start eating our stuff. We're gonna have to build a door. I think, where do we want our entrance? Maybe like right here. Cool. That's not a bad idea. I'm almost finished with my tea. I'll okay, be there. yeah, Brenda's making tea. They'll be back in just a second. I'll build like an extra layer to this door just so it's like a little extra secure. I like being extra. Cancel that. Okay, cool. So we're working on defenses. We're working on food. We're working on keeping the bears out. All in a gay's work. Do have anybody set to mining? Probably need some miners. Knife. Uh, 
Ooh, we honestly need more people. We need we need more help. It's not enough people with different skills to keep things going, you know. Construct. So what is their priority? Doctor, research. Kind of research is kind of on the back the back burner right now. Although Ines is researching, that's good. Okay. Cool. Because we have more important needs. You were making macaroni, but you burnt the pasta. Oh no. That sucks. I'm sorry. Burnt did you, so did you burn it or is it is it like overcooked and just kinda like falling apart and goopy? We've got some plasteel here. That's going to be useful in a little while. Plasteel is like advanced version of steel and it's got more health. No, not the pasta. Yeah, we do not like it when people burn pasta. That sucks. All right. Let's see. All right, we did. We were able to steal the kill. Big Zaddy right here is butchering this Ibex ram. Hopefully Yay! we'll get a lot of meat from that. Have more meals ready. We're doing fishing. What are, are those puffer fish? What see? did we fish here? Yeah. Do you want a coffee refill? Um, I think I'm okay. That was my second class. Oh, okay. But thank you. <laughs> Do you want a different beverage? I have the sparkling like water thing. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Do you want me to just rinse out this cup and use it? Cool. Thank you. Sure. I appreciate it. I don't know, it's just burnt. Damn, I'm sorry, Raven Tail. All right, some trout. I like all the different types of fish in this. How much meat did we get? We got 28 meat from that. All right, we'll probably need to do some more hunting. This drought's still going. I guess it's only been s almost seven days, but it's devastating, all of our rice it's taking forever to grow. I might expand our rice fields actually, just so we have more food. <laughs> just make it real extra. And we'll expand that. Can I not? Soil, wait, adjusted fertility due to trout, 10%. Interesting, okay, I think I have to wait till the soil is tilled because the regular earth is just such bad quality because of this drought. That's the thing about this game is there'll be some sort of natural disaster. There can be like nuclear fallout that just descends on your settlement and all of your people can't breathe. Um, and yeah, you just have to deal with it, so. Uh, and it sucks that the drought is right before winter, too. Because we won't have a big stockpile of food. Yeah. See, you can hunt during the, um, the winter, right? We can hunt, yeah, but... Um, you know, winter is 15 days, and there's a limited amount of wild animals, and if we kill them all... It'll take a while for more wild animals to wander in. Right. So we might have to worry, we might have to rely on traders. Hopefully we get some traders. Hopefully we get some visitors leaving us some gifts. <laughs> Think it'd be cool if you played Minecraft sometime. Sure. Yeah, we yeah. can put that on the list of games to try. Totally. I, I think, love Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft is a fun, like, there's some games that I feel like are better for streaming because they're a little bit more freeform and you can, like, interact with chat and name things after chat and take suggestions, whereas other games it's a bit more like you're just following Thank along you. with the story, you know? Yeah. Oh, nice. I see what's going on here. Big Zaddy, get to work! Yeah, building the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, progress is being made. That's good. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that, Michael. Michael said, um, remember the huge cities we made in Minecraft? Yeah, Geneva, all of the towers and stuff. And I, we built some like crazy redstone and um, the huge... Um, 
didn't I make like an automated subway system with like redstone to time mine carts to go between the different sections of our cities? Like we got real extra with that. Crazy train stations, yeah. Train simulator, bitch, motherfucker, what you know? Train simulator, bitch, watch the train go. Right? Yep. Perfect. I don't remember the rest. <laughs> Raventail says, I just realized Big Zaddy's a robot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they get David. to work. So we bought David as a slave and then took like five days to convince them to not be a slave and that they should be a free person and they should just join us and you know do whatever they want we have a gift oh wow nice so we got some so that's a items. hat a muffalo wool shade cone is like a cone hat um and then flat goggles nice great uh where are they oh so we should urgently yeah somebody will come by and grab them Nice. Cool. So we had some visitors. Did our... Was it 067's wife? Did they stay? Mm -hmm. They didn't join our colony, but they'll probably be back. And we can try and recruit them later. Oh, no. <gasps> no! Anessa, who asked to stay with you, is turning against you? What? No! Oh, what? Anessa! Wow. We fed you! We clothed fed you! you! We gave you protection. We protected you from bears. <laughs> oh, so man. So, we want to... Where Where are they? Oh, they're here? They're, yeah, they just set our research table on fire. Okay, um, we're going to have to recruit people. Big Zaddy... It's Big Zaddy. Big Zaddy can't fight. So, it's just Knife and 067. And Raventail? Oh. Raventail. I don't think Raventail fights. Um, so, Knife... Whoops. Yeah. Press R um, or click draft and then send them into that room to fight Anessa. <laughs> and then let's grab 067 as well. Oh. Recruit or draft and send them in the room. And they're just going to fight it out and we'll see what happens. No! Stop this! All right. Do you guys believe? Oh, yeah, they're kicking Anessa's butt. Ooh. Oh, Big Zaddy, he's like, oh, nope. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, so, did you pause it? Okay, so what we can do is we can try and um, let's set this room to be a prisoner room again. We can capture them and try and recruit them. Are they not dead? They're going to die in three hours. So we need to capture them and then immediately tend to their health. So, uh, uncheck for guests. Yep, and then for colonists, we'll change that for prisoners. Cool, and then grab either 067 or knife, right click, uh, capture. Cool, let that go. Or actually click on knife, yeah, right click, and then um, on, the, on the prisoner. And let's do stabilize here. Yep, cool. And then just let that play. 067's gonna put out the fire. That's great. Cool. <clears throat> There's a lot of blood in here. There's a lot of blood. Unnecessary. So they're going to take the gun. So this is Anessa's gun? Mm-hmm. Which we left on them. That they might have used against us, but whatever. Yep. All right. Uh, now we can click on knife. Or let's check Anessa, see how their injuries are doing. They're still, they're still bleeding. <laughs> oh. They're addicted think? to smoke leaf, which is like weed. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Once all of the injuries are patched up, um, we want to capture them. Inessa. I can't believe they did this. Betrayed us. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. No wonder why no one else will take them. So this is what I gave Ooh. B. Here, we'll pause this for a second. Um, I gave B this dry botanical bubbly. It's cranberry. It's naturally flavored sparkling beverage with other natural flavors. It is non-alcoholic. And I'm just going to be drinking out of the bottle because there's like this much left. So. What do you think of it, B? It's really tasty. It's nice and light and refreshing. Yeah. Not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. No, we don't sponsor <laughs> anyone. Um, usually we only hype up small businesses, and that's for free, and it's not a sponsorship or whatever, so. Alright. 
so peaceful. Yeah. Even with the murder that almost went down. Somebody's visiting. Oh, goodness. Keep him out of the room. All right, a oh. ma machinist. From the Empire. Xena Melodus. That's so a cool name. Hopefully they stay with us. Isn't knife isn't the doctor though? Knife is the doctor, yeah. Oh, they are? They're made oh. level nine medical. Yeah, knife and David I think are our doctors. Or big zaddy, sorry. Raventail is just loving this oh, meditation. Okay, hang on, pause it. Um, so they've been completely tended to, so, um, grab someone Knife? and, yeah, uh, capture. Cool. Oh, and there's Xena, our guest. We have another quest available. They want a colonist for eight days. No. I don't think we can spare anybody. <laughs> Sorry. Do you think you can make stuffed animal merch? Ooh. Oh, maybe. I don't know. We crochet. <laughs> we crochet. We have a whole pile of crochet bags right here. That's called stress, baby. <laughs> we stress crochet. Show, do you have a project right there? Uh, I don't no. think so, but I can grab one. We will show you. We have yarn everywhere. And Look at all these bags. <laughs> we have bags. <laughs> So, yeah, we make these for our merch. So if you support us by um, purchasing from our shop, we um, always pack them in cute little bags like this. So um, they're all handmade and they're all made from thrifted yarn. So it's like as eco-friendly as it can be. And the bags are reusable. So yeah. you can like re-gift it to someone else if you don't want them or use them for whatever you like to use them for, like makeup or your earbuds or whatever. Yeah. B also has crocheted a little bag for their oh, yeah. um, water bottle. A little foot for my water bottle. Yeah, it's cute. Very cute. And look, it says B. It does say B. Raven tail crochets too. That's awesome. And so does Curdlet. Oh hey, my gosh. Okay. I love gonna, that. We'll do a crochet yes, stream. Yes, we will. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That's so cool. And B learned how to crochet really fast. I've been crocheting for like all my life basically. Yeah. And B learned so fast because I used like to it. like try to teach people. I worked in like a mental institution for a while, a medical yeah, I don't know if mental institution is the right word, but like basically for mental health. Mm. And so um, a lot of them had like malnourishment and so they couldn't learn things very fast. And so I'm used to like teaching people like who get frustrated really fast with projects like that. And B was not like that at all. Literally learned after I probably instructed like once. Yeah. And then asked, uh, answered a few questions, and B learned really fast. So, And if you don't crochet and you're in the chat, um, we're happy to teach you. It's yeah. really fun. It's a great way to, like, if you're just, like, even watching a stream or whatever, you could be crocheting, and it's just a great de-stressing activity. And then um, Raventail says, probably have 12-gallon containers of yarn. That is awesome. They make hats. Oh, how cute. I want to see what they look like. Ooh. And then Restream says, congratulations, you've received 100 messages today with Restream oh, yeah. chat. Yay, <laughs> thank you all so much. And uh, Michael says, psychiatric center. Yes, I don't, yes, you are right. The reason why I said it the way I did was because I don't want to reveal too much about that because that's, you know, I don't want to, like, yeah, I just don't want to share too much information because that's not my place. Oh, shit, it's a sign. Big Daddy's Pizza is doing a buy one, get one free. So we can We get... don't need two pizzas, B. <laughs> <laughs> this is how capitalism tricks yeah. you. They give you a coupon that you don't actually need, but you're like, oh, it's free though. I don't know. I don't know. Could we get two mini pizzas? I don't know. And um, Jason's asking what are our pronouns? So we both use they, them. Um, I use they, she as well. So if you want to call me she, and B also is experimenting a little bit with it. So if you, and I'm speaking on your behalf, oh, I yeah, hope that's no. okay. Um, so you are welcome to use it, they pronouns with B, and they, she pronouns with me. So thank you so much for asking. And 
Michael, thank you for understanding. Curdlet says, I'm currently working on a baby blanket for the newest family oh, edition coming soon. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That's so nice. And that's a very thoughtful gift for you. Like, like my blankie, that's what I call them. I don't know, do you all, like as kids, call them blankies? Just like your security blanket, we call them blankies, me growing up. And like, that was handmade for me and I used it so much. And it was like my prized possession for like 10 years. So... And then Tazmazi Tamazi says, get pizzas. Yay! That's Michael. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Are we gonna get a pizza? We'll see. We're gonna keep playing a little while. Alright. They're cleaning up the blood. That's good. Thank you so much. I mean I say that. let's do it. If we can get two for the price of one and then we can just save it and we'll have pizza tomorrow. Or I have a hard time with leftovers. Okay. <laughs> okay. We also have some leftover Asian food? Oh uh, yeah, your noodles. No. Okay. I I won't go for that. I wish. Hello, they them. Yay! Hello. Oh yeah, y'all can please tell us your pronouns too. We would love that. And C, I know you go by Jason Todd here, so sorry. I we know your name C from last night. Um, but if we refer to you as Jason, it's just because it's there and available. Um and yes, Curdlet, although it's not your baby, it's still like a prized <laughs> member of your community or your family. So we are very excited for you. Raventail says, I might sell them on Etsy, but I don't think I will anytime soon. That's fair. Etsy is a hard game to get into. Um, I've had uh, Bigelow Soap is our Etsy, and that's where we sell all of our merch and art and stuff like that. We do have a link in our Twitch to that, correct? Speed? Yes, it'll be under the, there's a merch section that says decorate yourself with our garments. Yes, we have awesome shirts, <laughs> and we have more than that. We have buttons, we have soaps, we have a lot of cool stuff, and also if you're on YouTube, we have a link in our bio, so feel free to go check that out if you'd like to support us. And they make awesome gifts for the holidays, and if you order now, it'll get there plenty in time for um, Christmas if you celebrate it or any future holiday events that you're going to have. Um, whoops. But yeah, Raventail, if you want tips on selling them on Etsy, let us know. We're happy to give you the information that we have. Jason Todd says, no, it's fine. I don't mind Jason either. That's awesome. Love that. So let's continue. Or do you want to order pizza real oh, quick? Oh, yeah. So I got um, garlic bread or the stuff that we got last time. What kind of pizza do you want? Just like meat or veggies? I like really plain pizza, to be honest. I'm kind wow. of basic. I know! Just like pepperoni? Pepperoni is, that is too, good. Too out we there? could it's too probably. Wild? I, it is pretty wild, to be honest. <laughs> but I try to eat less meat the least amount of meat possible but i don't mm. think we've had good protein lately so maybe we should just do that that sounds good so knife what is what's going on here knife what is knife doing cloud watching cloud oh watching. okay <laughs> they like cloud watching that's fine they just look a little dead but that's okay so, Anessa is injured, in shock due to pain. They need some food, probably. Oh, and they're building a relationship, that's good. Sina needs food, they're feeling indifferent, they need rest and recreation, we have that, so hopefully we can get some food made. We have a few meals, so if they wanna eat, they can. And cool. Just pepperoni. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. You like olives though too. If you I like everything, honestly. If you I want, would do everything if too. you want olives, we can do that. But it's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna do olives. Okay. You can pick them off. I'll eat your olives. Mm -mm. I eat olives. I love. I'll live them. I. I'll live. I'll live. <laughs> oh my yes. gosh. We were up late last night. We usually go to bed at 10, and we were up until like 1 or 2 with the stream, so we are a little foggy brain today. Well, at least I'm speaking for myself, I guess. I'm a little foggy, but yeah. I had two full glasses of coffee, though, so. Whoop. I want to make sure they see you more. Oh, yeah, and I'm leaning in like I'm usually, but yeah, thank you. 
Cool. <clears throat> you can see my grandmother. You can kind of see my grandmother's bust there. It's the decor we decided for this this place. And I want to start streaming in our studio, Ooh. do some pole stuff in the studio. Maybe we can Ooh. do that tomorrow. Sounds good. Meow! 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 <laughs> All right, pizza's on the way. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. What's this? More? Oh, I expanded out the rice fields because it's taking so long to grow. Just want to make sure we have enough food. So we're running low again. We might need to do some more hunting. All right, so we go to animals or wildlife. wildlife. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of gazelles just showed up. Let's hunt a couple of those. Yeah, that's good. Uh, probably three to start because if we hunt too many, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, that meat is just going to go bad. Okay. And how close are we to having a fridge? Um, I don't think very close yet. Uh, people have got to do some mining and stuff, but it's okay. Once, uh, I think somebody in chat, I, was it Curdlet or maybe, um, I can't remember who in chat was talking about, but in winter when it's cold enough outside, you can just keep your meat outside and that'll keep it fresh, so. So, yeah. I have school during the week, so I have to rewatch the streams. Yeah, we probably, I mean, we work. Um, yeah, we work until three usually. Um, so we'll probably start streaming around four or five in the studio tomorrow. So you should hopefully be able to hop on. Oh, we got some hunt hunting. hunting going on. Great. Um, but yeah, we'll make sure that you'll be able to watch our streams. Yeah. And if you want to rewatch them too, that's awesome. But we do love having you in the chat because it makes this so much more fun. You are <laughs> such a positive energy in our community. So we appreciate you being here live. All right, let's speed things up. It's the 9th of September. Yes. So once it gets to the 15th of September, then it will be at the end of fall and um, uh, it'll start winter. So we've got about six more days, five more days till winter. Or even in, yeah, Curdlet, even inside in a not heated room for a natural freezer. So our storage room isn't heated. That will probably get pretty cold during the winter. So we should be good. We'll see. Yeah, perfect timing. Big Zaddy's doing some slicing and dicing. Same. Oh, Xena stayed in the most expensive room. They Yay! dropped some money. We love nice. that. Thank yeah. you, Xena. <laughs> Are they enjoying their stay? They're just hungry. They're eating um, now. Yeah, but they're in a pretty good mood. Decent enough mood. They're still indifferent, though. How long are they staying? Um, however long. Oh, their mood's probably going to go up now, because they're full, and they're rested, and their recreation's going up. They're loving it. Um, if you click on the Guests tab, that'll tell you um, this is, like, their satisfaction level. So they're at 56% satisfaction. Somebody's infected. Oh, it's Inessa. Yeah, she kind of deserves that, so... <laughs> You can't attack us after we gave you a place to sleep, a place... We gave Fed you a you. gun? Yeah, we gave you the last of our food, and we've been, like, running solo on food. Yeah, betrayal. Betrayed. But it's okay, we're gonna make... <laughs> we're gonna be... We're gonna kill him with kindness. Yes. And just be like, you're... You're gonna be a prisoner until you join us. <laughs> So do we need to do anything for her? Um, no, they'll naturally go and uh, do healing and stuff. Let's see. I'm getting some meals, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got some meat. Guess. 92, yes! Nice, okay, cool. That's great! Stay at the pool for dummies. Whammon and whammon for a sanctuary. Yeah. And we're even feeding our prisoner. 
we treat people very nice and their bedroom's just as nice as the rest of ours so mm -hmm. you know we treat our prisoners well mm -hmm. and how are they doing with health death acidifier what is that just to hover over it oh but to the left a little bit yeah Okay, it doesn't say. Um, do what you just did, press the I, and then click on view, death acidifier. A chest implant for preventing enemy use of captured equipment. Upon the user's death, it releases powerful chemicals that dissolve gear in contact with the user's body. Wow. So, should we take the clothes from Xena? So we no, this is just saying that if we were to fight them... Oh, we're not going to do that. ...and we kill them, it will dissolve all of the gear so we can't, like, salvage any of it, but... We're not going to try and fight them, because they could probably kick our butt, and they're part of the Empire, so. No, I thought they were unaffiliated. No, this is Xena. This is our oh, guest. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if you click on Anessa, we can see how they're doing with um, the infection. Um, so, yeah. Infection minor. Infection is at 18%, and immunity is at 14%, so... We'll What's see. That mean? They so might not survive? If yeah, if infection gets to hundred percent before immunity gets to hundred percent, then they die. But it should be okay. As long as we keep up with the treatments, they should be fine. And Big Zaddy's helping. Yeah. <laughs> what a great fatherly figure. I might build a door here too, just so they can get around a little better. Um, so some comments. Jason Todd says, oh good, the stream will start when I get home from school then. Perfect. Yay! We're so glad that we could stream <laughs> on your schedule. Raven tells the same. I have to secretly watch while I do my homework. Yeah, well, as long, we can even help with you with your homework too if it's something that we know about. <laughs> yeah. We did school once. I, yes, I have been to a school. We have some degrees. We have two degrees couple, between us. A handful. Actually, we have four. Four, technically, with our International Baccalaureate degree. Oh, yeah. Does, yeah. It's a degree. I mean. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I have certifications. I'm pretty good at math and IT and computers and stuff. I know CPR. There you go. We can teach, <laughs> we can do a CPR stream. That would be so cool. <laughs> Do we have any medicine? Oh, we have four medicine? Four. We have two Glitter World medicine, which is like the super amazing heal. We have four regular medicine, and then 37 is herbal medicine. Should we use any of that medicine on the Anessa? No. Uh, click on Anessa. Yeah, so this tells you what level of medicine we're using. So this is just herbal medicine. So we're not going to use our good quality medicine on Anessa because we don't want to waste it, honestly. Meow, 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 meow. Cat stream. It's the cat stream. And we still only have three cats, right? That's pretty yes. good, honestly. Oh. Um, Emerald is pregnant. Oh! Yeah. That's what the so cyclone be, needs. Yep, pregnant seven out of ten days. So they'll give birth in three days. We need to get more food. We need more food. <laughs> yeah, we have one meal left and we have nothing in the stockpiles. So we might need to do more hunting. Oof, this is uh, difficult. Where are we at? How do we hunt? Uh, oh, wildlife. Yeah. yeah, we already hunted like three gazelles. But we want them to Ooh, reproduce, yeah. so we don't want to... Okay, so we have some males. Maybe we can get a male. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple of the Let's male ones. Let's hunt two of the males, yeah. And then... Oh. Yeah, that's probably good for now. <clears throat> yeah, because we also don't want to hunt too much. We have some does. Because we need, we're going to need to save some for winter. Hopefully this works. Do we need to till this? Is this a priority? Um, somebody should be working on it. Um, yeah, who's our construction knife? And what is knife doing? Knife is probably fishing. <laughs> well, that's fair. But we can make them till the soil really quick. All right. Uh, so click on knife in the top, yep, and then right click, yep, prioritize, working on tilled soil. Oh, you didn't actually click it. Yes, I did! There we go. Oh, oh 
Oh, he just did the one. Okay, he doesn't want to do it. I think he's hungry. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that, and then... We'll eat. We're out of meals. That's not good. Jason, all right, I gotta go, but I'll join tomorrow's stream. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining, Sexy. See you later. Have you take over for a second? Sure. All right. Someone just texted me. They are starting a business making custom pleasers and they want to create a pair for me. What? Ah! That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. That is really cool. Just living that icon life. The bear? I don't know where the bears ran off. Oh, there's one of the bears. We really need them with fish. Zero six seven. Can you fish? What are your? You're a hunter. You're gonna learn how to fish, my friend. <laughs> um, hunt, tail, we'll make that level two. So they'll hunt and then fish and then cook and craft stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna cut, cutting up some meat. Take that back. So 67 meat, will that make 67 meals? No. It takes, um, it depends on the type of meat, how much nutrients it gives, it, and it's different for each type of meat, but um, I don't know, that might make 15 meals or something, 10 or 15. So we want, who is it, knife to till? Yes. I w it's not like Sims where you can just stack things up. I wish, yeah, there's probably a mod for that. They only want to do one. I think it's because we we honestly need them to fish right now. Okay. And the the rice is gonna take forever to grow. The drought is still going. Ugh. It might not even last because winter plants can't grow, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it might be lost. I don't cause. think. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think we'll be able to grow rice before winter. So we'll just leave it, and they'll get to it eventually. I'm getting meals. That's good. Mm -hmm. What is that sound? Oh. Inessa Lager is no longer incapable of walking. Cool. cool. So they're... Oh, shoot. Let's check on their infection. <laughs> uh, hover over where it says infection major. 61% and immunities at 55. Oof. This is going to be close. They might not make it. <clears throat> this infection's taken over. I'm oh, sorry. No worries. Five meals, it's getting better. Research finished modern furniture. Cool, we have more furniture stuff that we can build. Cool, let's see what we've got here. What do you see that's new? Um, I don't know. Uh, go to recreation. I know we have more recreation options now. Yeah, so at first we just had horseshoe pins, chess table, poker table, and billiards table. Now we can make a piano, a roulette table, dartboard, and punching bag. Ooh. Pa pa oh, um, we need components. We need components, though. Shoot. Roulette table? We can make a roulette table or maybe a dartboard. Dartboards, when people uh, play darts, uh, it increases their shooting skill, which is good. Cool. Maybe this can be the darts room. Yeah, rotate it. It'll show you. You have to have a certain distance away. Yeah, maybe put it against the left wall. Yeah, there you go. So that's where people are going to stand. We could put it there? Yeah, that works. And then we just put a torch in there. So people can see. Or a brazier. A brazier. Awesome. <clears throat> Great. 
This floor is still not done. Yeah. Are, is our wall built? No. No. I think the people, because we only have a handful of people, the ones that are assigned to construction are also making food, so just have higher priorities right now. Yeah. And luckily the bears aren't coming around, so. Yeah, and the cats are staying inside. Cotton plants are blighted. We don't need to do it. They'll automatically take care of it. Medical emergency? Yeah, infection extreme. <laughs> They're probably gonna die. <laughs> Can we not, f we can't fix them? Um, I mean, it's just like, how much do we want, oh, sorry. Um, how much do we want to invest? We can use a better medicine. In seven hours, in four hours, we can tend them again, and we can use better medicine, but then that's medicine that we won't have if our colonists get sick. We can invest a bunch of resources into them, but it's just going to take time and winter's coming. Okay. I don't know. It's up to you. Do you want to save them? I mean, wouldn't that be better over the long haul? Cause that's true. Have... Let's go for it. Why not? Let's um, just do... Uh, industrial tech? Yeah. Not best quality. Just industrial tech. So it'll just use... Hopefully just one of our regular medicines, and that will help with um, the immunity quality. Two hours. We want to do it right in two hours, too. So we kind of want to just sit and watch this for a minute, or maybe like fast forward a little bit. Oh, nerve wracking. <laughs> and who's our doctor? Knife? Mm -hmm. It's not, yeah, it's not ready yet. Click on Inessa, we'll see. Yeah, hover over infection. Can be tended in 0 0.8 hours. Cool, once this circle is not filled in, that's when you can tend it. So they're feeding? Mm hmm Three, two, one, knife. Stabilize. Preserved by Big Zaddy. Oh, Big Zaddy's gonna do the medical work. And they're gonna do the bigger? We'll see. We'll see if they grab the bigger medicine. Yes, they did. Great. All right, and then let's click on Inessa and check their health and see like the quality that they do. Once that meter fills up. Hey. Alright, 85 to 94. Oh no, it might be too late. No! Oh no! And we got a gift, though, from our guest. Oh, right. Cotton plants are diseased. Nine gold. Awesome. Cool. That's good. This is tragic. Anessa, you better pull through. We wasted. <laughs> oh no. Click on health. Let's just keep checking it. 98 and 89. Oh no. <laughs> this might be it. There she goes. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry. Rip in peace. Cheers. Cheers in chat. Shout out. Pour one out for the homies. Sorry, Anessa. I mean, you betrayed us, but... Well, let's make this into another guest bed. <laughs> Someone died in it, but that's okay. Yeah, nobody needs to know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> yeah, you, thank Kurt. you. Ah, uh, jeez. We could have really used that person. Do we need to take care of this? They're, they're set to automatically cut it. I feel like research is not a priority right now. Or oh, is it? yeah, not really. Um, who 
it's that big zaddy. Why are they research? That's really weird. Um, Where is it? Oh. Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. They're still probably going to do it unless you uncheck it, but it, that's fine. They don't have any, they can't fish, they can't hunt, so we could just let them Can research. they crop, though? Um, uh, yes. Actually, yeah, set them to level 2 plant cut and level 2 grow. Cool. And they'll hopefully... And you just right-click that for them to change their task. Cool. Hopefully they continue doing that. Mm -hmm. They should. <clears throat> Okay. Meow. Prioritize the cutting of blight. Yeah. Big Zaddy's cooking now. And because it's about to spread to our rice, we actually, yeah, we want to jump on this right away. Lower grow. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, let's go to work. Actually, let's pause it before the blight spreads. Big Zaddy, let's do plant cut number one. And grow number two. Cook, let's put cook number two for now. <laughs> yeah, because we want them. And then, um, right click on like this side and prioritize doing... No, click on Big Zaddy and just click on one tile. Yeah, prioritize cutting. Hopefully it won't spread to the rice, but honestly, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, and um, click into each one of these. Click it again. And then do um, allow sewing. Cool. And that's just so like, Big Zaddy cut like two of these and then immediately planted, oh no. <laughs> It spread. Shoot. So should they? Yeah, cut cut that. This is so stressful. Yeah. And then. Oh, okay, they're doing it. Oh, before it spreads, hurry! Oh, bolt, good trader. Oh, yes. Hopefully they have food. <laughs> this is so stressful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So what does this mean? They're just gonna show up. They're on their way. Yeah, here we can see where they are. There they are. Raven. Let's get them to trade. See what they have. Big Zaddy, you gotta, you gotta cut the rice. We need to save the rice. Oh no! Oh no! No! Is this just a moot point? Like, should it, we? Yeah. Wait till a raid hits. Yeah, seriously. What should I do for death? Ooh. Maybe like a fallen over a tree that has like mushrooms growing out of it or something. Ooh. Like death and rebirth and life. and. That's I a think, great idea. Yeah, if you want to stick to the mushroom theme. Okay, let's look. What kind of food do they have? They have fish? They have a lot of fish. That's yeah, pretty cheap. How? Ooh, yeah. Where's our money? Right there. Oh, okay. And they have, what are these, ewes? Which are baby cows? We don't have enough food to feed them. Yeah. Uh, we can sell this beret, we can sell the gold, we can sell some stuff. Um, sell some of the furs too. I want to just buy all of this anglefish, but... Angelfish? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how much to buy, because I also don't want it to go bad. <clears throat> we could just leave it outside, but it's not quite cold enough yet. 
whatever. We'll buy a bunch and we'll make it into meals. How much can we buy? Not that much. Let's do 200. 200 fish. That's most of our money, but... We could sell some stuff. Yeah, like we can sell these. This will get us like 100 bucks. Um, how much for all of the gold? There we go. Now it's we're only paying $98. Can sell some pants. We can always make more pants. Okay, cool. Now we're actually making money. Maybe we sell the uh, panther fur too, because that's worth some money. Cool. We can buy a trash can. <laughs> well. No, that's not good. Uh, okay, cool. I think that's good. Okay. We're getting some food, and we're also getting some money. Awesome. So we just want to haul that urgently. Okay. There you go. Sorry. Great. No, no. That's good. Big savvy. It might be too Should late. Should we just... We might just cut our losses and just move on. Start fresh next season? Yeah. So let's do work. Oh, it looks like the drought stop, actually. That's good. Is anybody else doing plant cutting? Can we bring uh, anybody else over? Um, oh, yeah, knife and 067. Let's set all of these to one. Yeah. Not oh. grow, but yeah, because we just want them to cut them at first to just get rid of the blight. And then also 067, the three to one. Yeah, perfect. Should I make them do it now? Yeah. Because it... it's just going to spread overnight. Oh. Um, they'll be in a bad mood, but they'll have food, so. Oh, should I do color or black and white? I'm a really big fan of black and white, just as like an aesthetic, but you do what you want to do. Or like you could do monochrome, like pink and white, or orange and white, like just a really limited color palette. I'm a fan of that as well, but whatever feels right in your heart of hearts. Hey, okay, cool. They cleared up the blight. Awesome. Uh, let's go back to work and reset their priorities so that way everybody lets you do plan cut all the time. These two we can set back to three. Cool, and let's set the grow to a level one again, and cook to level one, so that Big Zaddy's just doing this kind of stuff. Um, let's click on our growing zones again, and we want to allow sowing, so they plant seeds. Did we do that for, oh, we didn't even do it. Okay, cool. So now, hopefully we can grow some stuff. I don't think, sorry, I keep doing no, that. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't think, um the cotton or the heel root will grow before winter, but we might get a harvest of rice. Who knows? Hopefully. Raventail says, I want to do black and white because I'm lazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we feel that. Actually, we could just set all of these. If we just set the plant to rice, we might as well grow rice. Since we're not going to grow cotton in time, we might grow rice in, in the enough days. Rice plant. Oh, Hayden's working all day today. Bummer. Off Monday and Tuesday, though. Cool. Maybe we can do yeah, stuff tomorrow? Yeah. Let's... Oh, sorry. I'm just going to set somebody to make sure that this gets planted right away. Um, yeah. There we go. So that should be their top priority. Okay. Great. They're harvesting right now. Do they need a plant first, though? Um, probably. They should grow before they cut, but 
Or just set that to two, yeah. So let's get in on Big Zaddy. Prioritize. Visitor. Great. Sophia. Friend needing help. Louisa Bila, Grand Chief of Lurcha Covenant, is requesting a favor. His friend, Mosquito Irtoal Bocha, is interested in learning about other cultures. He wants you to host him at Whammon and Whammon first for five days. Mosquito will not do any work. Is that worth it? I don't think so. I don't think we have the food to support another person that's not willing to help out at all. Sorry. You can only visit if you're willing to help. Big Saddy, why are you... Whatever. I don't know. We're getting food, so that's good. Mm-hmm. We're cooking up all of those fish. Hopefully that'll give us a little head start and all of the rice will help out. The trade caravan's leaving. All right, bye. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Come back anytime. Making tons of meals, it's great. Low on food. No, we're not. <laughs> no. Um, for the amount of people and cats we have, we're pretty low on food. Okay. But it's fine. Sophia is sleeping in the dead, dead Anessa's bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get another cat. Why aren't these cats hunting? Oh yeah, they can't hunt because we don't send them outside. Yeah. Can we sell cats? Mm-hmm. We just need to wait for the right kind of trader. So maybe we we sell one of our cats. Raventail, bye, sexy. Bye. So glad that you could join us. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Minor break risk. Knife is in a bad mood. They need recreation. I guess we've been forcing them to work so much. <laughs> um. How do we make them do that? They'll um, automatically try and fulfill it. Once they're done with whatever work they're doing, they should. Because we have plenty. We have horseshoes. We have a chess table. We have meditation areas. That all helps with mood. They're getting their recreation. That's good. It's good that it's raining. We have a lot of rice, that's good. We need more, but that's good for now. <clears throat> oh, RTX Dracula, love from Bangladesh. Oh, hey, sexy, hey. so glad that you're here. That's awesome. What time is it there? Curdlet, I also have to get going. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. You too, Curdlet. Uh, Hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye, sexy. All right. Making good progress on the rice. And knife is fishing. Excellent. We're going to have food. Mm-hmm. Hopefully some wild berries will grow, so we can harvest some of those and just have a little bit more of a food stockpile. Yeah. We're up to, okay, 341 rice. It's not bad. That'll last us a little while. Hopefully we can get one more harvest. Um, really quick, let's click on world. And that's going to regenerate the world. And then click on terrain. And let's see. Growing period is from uh, the eleventh of December to the first is when we uh, can't grow anymore. Yeah, so we won't. So I was. Oh, damn. It's just <clears throat> ten days that we won't be able to grow anything. 
but it starts on the 1st of December. It's 2.30 a.m. in Bangladesh. Oh, wow! You're up late! Thanks for stopping by. Yeah! How are you doing? What keeps you up so late? Okay, so... We might not get another harvest of rice. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a little bit more, but we might have to rely on fishing and hunting. To and get berries? Through the winter. And berries. Oh, it looks like some berries are growing here. So the trick that you can do is actually um, zoom out like pretty far. Yep. And then click on, no, because that's going to select everything. Yeah. Um, double click. And that'll select all berry bushes. 35 of them. And we can harvest fully grown. Cool. Great. So hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of berries that somebody, probably Big Zaddy, is going to go out and harvest. So should they not plant more? Um, yeah, he might as well, because we might just make it. Yeah, our pizza's almost here. Yay, pizza! Big Zaddy, Michael, are you still in chat? Are you still hanging out? I haven't seen you in a little while. Maybe you're grabbing a snack. <clears throat> Meow! Amaro is pregnant. Cold snap. Uh, no, that means it's just gonna be winter right now, basically. So can we tell uh, Big Zaddy to stop and go harvest the berries now? Yeah, so click on each of these growing zones and then just do allow sowing so people won't try and plant things in them. That sucks, a cold snap right after a drought too. Rude. Rude. So they'll go do berries now? Hopefully they'll go do berries. Yeah, after, yeah, they're just gonna finish this task and then, yeah, go and do something else. We'll see. Uh, it's a bummer. Is berries a certain one? Plant cut. Yeah, we'll bump that up to one. Still here, just kind of dozing in and out. Didn't sleep well last night. Oh, okay. So glad that you're still here. Yeah. Dracula wants to know if we can play Minecraft. Yes, we got a suggestion for that earlier, so we might do that yeah, um, in the future. Definitely. We'll put that on the list. Yes. Ooh. Pizza's here. Hello, thank you. That's a great idea. And then will you grab us a couple napkins, please? Yes, good. And a cold snap. It's cold. Thank you. Are you guys from the USA? Yes, we are in America. We actually met in Switzerland, though. We sure did. Now this will become a mukbang stream. We will. <laughs> this is our um, garlic bread that we're digging into right now. And they're just sleeping right now, so we can just leave them for a second. Yeah. Yes, pizza! I would like a slice, please. Do it. This is basically just cheese pizza. Yeah, that's with true. With no sauce. But we're dipping it in sauce, so it's literally just cheese pizza. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Michael said now he's hungry again. Yeah, sorry. Order some Big Daddy's pizza. <laughs> and Dracula's hungry, too. <laughs> Oh, it's so cold outside? Yeah, Negative the cold 19? snap. Good thing we made those parkas. That might not even be enough. Can 
can't believe you got a coin there. We got a gift. Hmm. That's good. Raven tells trying to keep warm. Oh, relaxing socially? You're alone, babe. <laughs> babe. Knife is relaxing socially? Why don't y'all relax socially together? <laughs> Oh, no, um, you clicked one of these, but I think it's that one. This one? Mm hmm There we go. It just collapses everything into categories. Once you get, once you play for long enough, you just have so many items, um, that it just starts filling up the screen. So that, like, collapses it, so it's easier to manage. <clears throat> heard. Oh, heard? Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, Battle Royale game like PUBG. I'm not very experienced with that. Maybe, yeah, we can put it on the list. I think today we're just going to be playing RimWorld. But maybe in a future stream we can change it up and play other games. <clears throat> should we hunt more? Or should we wait? Yeah, we probably want to hunt. Is Big Saddy mm -hmm. harvesting? Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, harvesting berry bush. Awesome. It's pretty um, far away. And we can hunt like as much as we want now, basically, because it's negative fourteen outside, so stuff will naturally just freeze and not spoil. And then winter's coming immediately after this. Um so we can just like keep all of our stuff uh, outside or even in our storage is probably cold enough. Who do we have hunting? I think 067 is our hunter. They're sleeping. <clears throat> Plus they need some recreation and food. Might let them do that first. Playing some horseshoe. Raven Tilted? Gathering berries. Cool. We gotta do that before it gets too cold, right? Mm hmm. Which it might already be too cold. <laughs> but whatever. We got 69 berries. No, we got 80 berries. We still have 300 rice. for at least a couple days. Okay. Raventail's gonna go meditate. <clears throat> now we have another kitty to feed. We've got five cats now. So what made you say that we're out of berries? Oh. All that of the bushes good. are brown. So what is Raven Tail doing? Gathering berries? So they're still gathering, but they... So somebody went around and picked the berries, but they didn't haul them back mm. to our storage. 
So they were just kind of laying around. We got fishing going on. Who should we make hunt? Is that uh, zero six seven is also the, the hunter or no? Yeah, it's zero six seven. Which one should we get? Um, maybe the rams. Into a female one and a male. Oh, whoops. Yeah, male and female. Is that good for now? Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of rice and stuff too, so we'll be good for a little bit. And then the gazelles are only female? How did that happen? Did they leave? The males? Maybe. Because we made sure that we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> we need the sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very oily. Yeah. This greasy, dirty pizza. Big daddies. Mm hmm. Hmm. Should we reset their priorities now that the berries are done? Um. Probably, yeah. We don't really need to do plant cut for a while. <clears throat> Big Zaddy can cook. Cleaning leaves? Just cleaning. Okay. Sure. Do you, baby? I don't want them to clean leaves. Maybe cleaning can be free. Visitors! Hmm, nice. Forty-three days have passed since your arrival. This year is divided into four quadrants. Blah blah blah. We already know that. Cool. It looks like we're doing better on food. So our winter is just extra long. Will it ever go away? Basically, yeah. It'll go away. Um, until, uh, when the 11th of December. Okay. So we have about 11 days. Oh. A little less than a month. A month is 12 days. Oh, no, but it's the 15th. Or no, then. sorry, uh, 15 days. Yeah. Okay. I meant to say 15.
got so many kit kitty cats. Who can we sell them to? They have to come by? Mm-hmm. Cer- certain people will come by and you'll be able to trade animals to them. Will you take over for a second? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Grab the pizza? Yeah. Hmm. I'm kind of full. Yeah, I might just do like one slice. Take your slice and then I'll put yeah. it back in the kitchen and then maybe dig in in a bit. That sounds good, yeah. You're losing all your mm-hmm. precious olives! Uh, olives. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What is it about pizza? a lull right now I'm assuming Scotty why is Scotty in the med bed I don't know go to hell oh hypothermia frostbite oh they're our guests but they don't have warm enough clothes It's really cold. It's only three Celsius. Mm. Should we add more fire? Maybe add another like brazier to each room, because those will give more heat than the torches. Mm. They can still sleep here mm-hmm. if they it's there. All right. It's gonna be tough, but I think we might just get through winter. Constructor Knife? Knife. Cool. Great, we've got some fire. And do these ever set the buildings on fire? No. Okay.
Big Zaddy told Scotty <coughs> about all the deca- decency. Sorry, Big Zaddy told Scotty about all the decency at Equal Federation of Lambin. Scotty was eager to hear more. Great! <laughs> Scotty, join us, please. These fires built. <clears throat> Maybe we should build a door so they don't have to walk all that way. Steel door, wooden door. Wooden door is fine. Okay. We got a party. Knife is throwing a party. Yay. Everyone who will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive food, mood boost. Awesome. What is the occasion? Knife? Is it a <laughs> knife party? Knife. Great, we're getting more warmth. <clears throat> we're getting our wall built, that's great. Did we build that? Oh, yeah. I built that as, like, an extra layer of security through our wall. Oh, good. So that's going to be, like, the main exit, but somebody will have to go through the first door, and then by the time they get to the second door, the first door will be closed, so it's just a little extra secure. <clears throat> Great. Big Saudi's butchering? Or what were they doing? Cleaning up? Cleaning up. Oh, did you see what the gift we got was? Silver! Ooh. That's great! Nice! That might save our butts. When somebody comes by... Oh, it Solar doesn't matter. Solar flare? Okay. It doesn't matter because we don't have electricity. Great! I'll deconstruct... All of this manually, because why not? <clears throat> Pretty bougie. And our duck fortress is looking good. Maybe we'll add more doors. Ooh, we got a visitor. Ooh. Let's see. This looks good.
We've got a visitor. Right. And we're fishing more. That's good. We've got food. That's good. We've got a little bit of food, yeah. Raventail and Big Zaddy joked about pemmican? Pemmican is, um, it's like, um, dried meats and berries and stuff. It's, uh, you get a type of food that you can make that lasts a lot longer, uh, if it's not refrigerated. Okay. So that's for the future. Mm -hmm. This is good. My duck is just in the corner here. <laughs> Nice, they're making friends. Ravenhill, what are you doing? Cleaning leaves? You don't need to be doing that. What should we have them do? Uh, I don't know. What happened to them making art? I think we stopped the art. Yeah, five out of five. Oh, we have, I, do we have art? Oh, that includes stuff that was put up. So we can just change this, like, do this X times, and we'll do it five more times. Cool. <clears throat> How are they enjoying their stay? They need some more food, rest, and recreation. Don't you, don't you worry, we have that. Who is that? Knife? Knife is always in a bad mood. Why don't you go do that stuff? Is it because constructing too much? Yeah, we should take breaks. It'll be okay. She? I she, think she uses she, she yeah. for her. <laughs> she should, uh... McCarty, we rescued, and they're guests now? Cool. So we'll see if we can recruit them? Cool, yeah. We've rescued them? I guess so. I don't remember doing that. Maybe with our kind, kind yes. hearts and witty banter. <laughs> <laughs> so if they sew this now, will it still last for next season? Mm -hmm. It'll just die because it's too cold. Like even the sewing? Just not like planting plants, but just like the ground? Oh, tilling the earth? Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. They can do that. Oh, okay. Lasts forever. Yeah. yeah, we're doing great. So, just gotta keep getting through. I'm thinking maybe we make them extend all of them. Maybe not. Because they're all race right now, but I guess that doesn't matter for a few more days. Yeah. Big Zaddy keeps cleaning. That is not necessary. Where is cleaning for you? Cleaning's on the right. It's on the third priority! So there's no cooking to do, basically. How about you entertain? Plant cut? You know, what else can they do? Research? Yeah, put back, put them back on research. Uh, Let's put do it. Yeah, put research as a two. Because we want them to cook before they research. Okay. And then cleaning is three. Great. Oh, is, does it have to be reconstructed? Mm -hmm. Oh. You can't uh, manually like force people to research. It's one of the few things. It's, uh, I think mm. the same with uh, like recreation. There's some stuff that people just have to decide to do themselves for whatever reason. We got some food poisoning. <clears throat> Someone's not cooking good. So they're just gonna go eat. We have meals. Is our robot our butcher? Yes, the robot and knife, I think, butcher. Okay. Or zero six seven. Yeah, we have two people that can butcher. Cool. 
collecting, collecting. Nice, keep picking. And it looks like, are they planting stuff? No, they're no. just tilling the. Okay. Yeah. Great, sure. Cool. And then what we can do is if you click on the growing zone, which is like the green overlay, and then do expand, you can expand that down so it's the full length. Nice. Yay! And then whenever it's ready, they will plant stuff. Once or, we yeah, allow sowing. Yeah, you can allow it, and they w just won't because it's too cold. But that will make it so that as soon as they're available, uh, somebody And they're all it. rice. Should we change these? Yeah, let's change one back to cotton. It's always good to have a good supply of cotton. We might even be able to grow tundra cotton. It's cold enough. Oh! Whoop! Try tundra cotton. We'll Should see. we do it on this one too? Might as well. Yeah, let's, let's see if anybody actually plants it. Well, now Big Zaddy's doing research, so that's probably <laughs> their priority. Should we make that their priority? Just for now, so they can get it started? Sure. Like that? Mm-hmm. And then in a minute, they'll change tabs. It takes a while to research stuff, I've noticed. Yeah, and it depends on what you're researching, too. I can't remember what we're researching right now, but it must be... I think it's the trash, the garbage. Oh, yeah. That'll be nice. And then we won't have to have as many people assigned to cleaning. Cool. Beggars desire aid. A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for, th for three herbal medicine. Ah, no thanks. Sorry. Yeah, that's all we have to get through winter. At least we haven't had many attacks lately, but that probably means it'll come soon, yeah? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, it'll probably be in the next five or so days we'll have some sort of either a raid or some more manhunting man -hunting animals or something. We shall see. Alvarez. So... Who's Alvarez? Can we trade with that person? Oh, looks like we can. So let's get... Oh, oh no. they're the beggars. Okay. Sorry, y'all. We're looking at our guests. All right. They look fine. Cool. Looks like they're feeling indifferent now, but they will probably be happier in a second. Big Zaddy is planting. This is great. Tundra cotton. Such a hard worker. Oh, we have another visitor? Guest has nothing to eat? Put some food on sale? Um, we should have... You can also allow guests to take food for free. That is, I believe, how we have it set up. <coughs> hmm. they should oh, be it went away. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. A special agent from the Grand Federation is visiting the colony. George number 135. Nice. <clears throat> cool, welcome. We have plenty of places for you to stay. Is Big Zaddy affected by the weather too? Um, uh, not as much. Stands oh, he has gifts! Throwing shards and a great bow. Cool. And another gift from the world of Union of... Hmm. Another gift. Uranium! 20 uranium. Nice. Start working on a nuclear reactor. Cool. So peaceful. Yeah. Lovely for a Sunday. 
Will you take over for a sure. second? Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Um, all right, what's going on? How's it going, chat? Is anybody still hanging out with us? Cat 2 got food poisoning. Oh, we're finally doing some mining, which is awesome. We can make some electronics stuff. Yeah, eventually we can make, um, like, hydroponic stations. Be able to grow stuff indoors uh, year-round, but it requires a lot of electricity. So... Well, we'll get there. Plants or boxes? Does not require power to work. Oh, maybe we can put some yeah, planter boxes inside. I don't think it's much warmer inside though. Oh, it is. Actually, it's a little bit warmer. Maybe let's build a little like indoor planting area, like in this area. Sure. Does that sound good. <coughs> do you want to do that? Yes. <laughs> I swallowed wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Structure. Wood, which one? Oh, we don't have a lot of wood. Oh no, we don't have a lot of anything. Oh yeah, let's um, okay, before we do this then, let's set some trees to get chopped down. Whoop, no, how do we do it again? Architect oh, yeah. orders chop wood. Cool. And maybe a little bit more too. It's, it's good to have a good stockpile of wood and we have a lot of burning stuff. A lot of like heat sources. So let's get a whole bunch of wood. Cool. You think that'll be good for now? I think so. Meow. <laughs> oh, did you just pee in the house? Oh, geez. That is rude. Are our cats even doing anything? I feel like we need to start selling them because they're being a burden on our society. <laughs> Big Saudi is planting. That's good. Yes. Who's oh, chopping? They, they are doing the tundra cotton. That's awesome. Yeah. Ambrosia. A grove, a grove of the mysterious ambrosia bush has sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. Mm. It's over here. So that'll take a little while to grow. It might even go a little bit slower because it's winter. Okay. Oh, nice! We're finally mining. Mm -hmm. Go for it, knife. Go for it, go. Raventail is also mining, it looks like. Mm -hmm. oh, we should find some more steel to mine as well, because we're low on steel. Or maybe just set somebody, because I flagged some up there. Maybe just set somebody <laughs> to like top priority mining. OK. For a little bit. Uh, oh. Knife is our miner also our constructor but I don't think we need to build anything right now so you can set knife to mine level one where is it oh here yeah and then construct to two cool great and then who's gonna be chopping the wood um who's our wood chopper that would be plant cut so we can set big zaddy to do plant cut Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> Look at how much fire we have. Yes, all the fire. Will it make it too hot in the summer? Um, it might, but it, it'll probably be okay. If there's a heat wave, it'll definitely make it too hot. But just like normal summer. What's this? Oh, this is to be cut. Okay. Maybe we can build another entrance like here or something? Sure. Like a... So let's do structure. 
Wooden wall? We have wood now? Uh, let's do steel, though. Steel's stronger. It's gonna be defensive. So, like, here? Mm-hmm. How many? Three? Three's probably good. Yep. Or four. Either way. Cool. Just a little airlock <clears throat> thing. And then a steel door? Mm-hmm. All the constructing is not a priority right now. Mm -hmm. Cargo pods apparel. Ooh, let's see where it's at. Where is it? It's there. And a cloth of blouse. Cool. Awesome. Is that it? I think that's all I can see. Do we need the steel? Do we need the steel? Uh, not right now. We can't do anything with steel slag right now. We need to build a furnace to be able to melt that down into steel. Oh, there's horses! Oh, yeah. We can tame horses, and then eventually, once we have, like, <clears throat> caravans to trade with people nearby, uh, we can load up the horses and be able to trade a lot more. That's cool. We'll probably have to wait because we need food right yeah. now. We don't have enough food for them. It's actually, it's 15 degrees outside. They're planting rice. Click on the rice plants. Growth rate 200%. We might actually be able to harvest rice. Wow. How long will this last, though? I don't know. We just need three days to grow rice, though. All right. If Come it on, it doesn't get Eddie. super cold for three days. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting nervous. Ooh. Winter's tough. If winter is tough. And actually, we <laughs> our, our autumn was really rough, mm -hmm. so I feel like we, like, overcompensated, and yeah. it was really good, a good choice. We had a drought, followed by, like, a cold snap three days later. Jeez. It's pretty rough. Meow. We need to sell our cats. <laughs> oh, and we have some fishing going on. That's great. Nice. Some fish, we've got some food, there's still a little bit of rice left over. Oh, and we wanted to build a little... Oh yeah, we were gonna build an indoor... Uh... Grow room? Whoa. Well, that's kind of irrelevant now, but maybe for next winter? And it's just good to have more plants. Like, I because we're gonna have keep having more cats, I think it's gonna, t gonna be good to have this, either way. So we need more wood still? Yeah... I think once Big Zaddy's done planting the whole field. <laughs> yeah. Or we can just right click and force him to change. Whatever. For now. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna go right back to planting, huh? We'll see. Eating. Cooking. Some people sleeping. There and we back go. to planting. Yep, you caught it. <laughs> well, that's good because we actually just cooked up like the last of the fish, and we only have twenty-two rice left. So I think we kind of need it. Yeah, we kind of need the rice. Hopefully, it doesn't get too cold. We want the dirty day. We got silver! Hey, that's hey, awesome! That's awesome. I bet they're grabbing it now. No? <laughs> mm -hmm. Meditate. Mm -hmm. Look or at the cat. Look at the sculpture. <laughs> Viewing art. That's awesome. They don't really use this room that often. We could have a party. It's, uh, we could throw a festival. That would increase people's moods. I mean, people are mostly in a good mood, but we might get another recruit if it's good enough. Okay, let's see. How do we do that again? So, let's start it with 
Raven Tail. That'll be our like sort of leader <clears throat> for now, the not an, our unofficial leader. And then right click on the lectern, uh, or the uh, sorry, Oops. the platform. Uh, famine and fair. Only one we can do seventy three percent. So how high does it have to be to get someone to join us? If it is fun or unforgettable, then there's a 50% chance of a random person joining. And that's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Stats there. Okay. Begin? Let's do it. Let's have a festival. Famine and fair. Yay. Ooh, fun. How do we see how much fun they're having? Uh, we'll see once it's over. Oh. Yeah. So there's not really anything we can do to enhance their time? Not while it's going. Yeah. Yay, party, party, party! Everyone's having such a good time. Boring, famine, and fair. Oh, no. No! Everybody's going to have a minus one mood for six days. Oh, no. What? What was the problem? Just roll of the dice. Oh. Something happened, I don't know. Bummer! Oh well. <clears throat> getting the house is getting kind of dirty. Mm. Big Zaddy's busy. We have a visitor? A musical kid? That's us! Hey! <laughs> Alright, Theodosia, just like Thea Theodosia. Whatever. <laughs> From Hamilton? Yes. We have any Hamilton fans in the chat? Hamilton fans. I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I'm going to make knife do construction first, mine second, just because I need to build some stuff. Construction botched. <clears throat> oh. At least we are gonna have the second wall so they can access it a little better. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, chop that wood, we need that. Great. Nice. We have the second entrance. Whoop. Knife can now Whoop. mine. Sleepy time. Go friends. What's this? Thanks to High Mood, 067 has experienced an inspiration. She will move faster for the next eight days. Cool. Great, it's good to know. Theodosia, you're feeling indifferent. You're having such a great time. And click on guest. Is there a meter in here? Oh yeah, it's the meter, uh, but it'll give you a number if you click on the guest tab at the bottom. It'll say they're like, yeah, 72% happy. Cool. So that's good. Big Zaddy's making more meals. And they're chopping wood. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, are like <clears throat> out of wood. Yeah, we need wood. Maybe we'll also build another door. Wooden? Sure. Here? Just so they can access this a little better? Sure. 
And then do you want to build like a steel wall going up from there and this will be like our little indoor planter room? Yeah. Is that under furniture? I think it's under production. Yeah, the planter boxes or tileable planter box. Yeah. Four thirty. Which um, one's better? Let's because we have more steel than we have wood right now. Let's do the planter boxes. Oh, these are pretty big. Let's see. Like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sure, that's fine. I don't like that it's uneven. <laughs> Then we'll build a door. Steel? Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. So now it's knife. Mm -hmm. Let's get that going real quick. Raventail upset Theodosia three times in a row. Why are you doing that? Raventail. Strange. Oh yeah, we have more sprouting. We can. Oh, it's a it's a mushroom. This is different. I don't know if I've seen these before. Either it's a mod or it's just super rare. Okay. Alas, Alastarius. Ooh. Where were the other plants that grew? That. Uh, somewhere. It'll be a while before they're fully grown, though. Okay. Are they like bushes where you can like select them all and then mm -hmm. have people harvest them? Okay. Nice knife. Great work. Cool. So let's click on both of those planters. Uh, let's set that to rice, probably. That grows the fastest. Um, and then we'll probably want to put a brazier or brazier, a whatever, brazier, in right. that room just to keep it warm. Maybe the two. Yeah, good idea. Cool. And the roof is being built. That's great. How are our cats doing? Oh, they're pregnant. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. We can sell kittens, titties. right? Yeah. Oh, and we can set this one now too. Room is awful. It's ugly. Oh yeah, it's dirty. Oh, we don't even have floors. I guess we don't really need floors in the planter room, but... Yeah, you can just do like concrete floors or something. It doesn't need to be super Straw beautiful. matting? Oh, uh, we don't have any hay. Oh. Yeah. But concrete or paved tile is pretty cheap. Neutral in looks? Yeah. Slow to build? Okay. <clears throat> How much cotton do we have? 29? Uh, 281. Oh. Oh, okay, so maybe we make some rugs so it stays cleaner? Sure, uh, that's in mist, I think. And then doormat. Where is it? Oh. I don't think we need them over here. No. Just where they go into the main house. That should be good. Is there oh, a door one. here? Yeah. Oh, here? In there. In here? Cool. Hopefully that'll keep things clean. I sure hope so. Our winter's not too bad. We're doing okay. Yeah. There's no snow. Not yet. Oh. We'll see if anything could happen. 
Transport pod crash. Oh. Okay. Capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes? Can yeah, we? Yeah, so we can try and recruit this person. Uh, so click on Raven Tall Raven Tail. Isn't Knife the doctor? Uh, yes, you are absolutely right. <laughs> and then we want to stabilize them. And that's their priority right now. Mm -hmm. They're gonna run and do that right now. Hopefully, this person won't die. Six oh, hours. Really good at shooting and artistic, social construction. That would be awesome to convert this person, but it might take a while. To heal them? To heal them and then recruit them and convert them and everything. Should we imprison them? We'll have to capture them. Yeah. We'll okay. have to make one of our rooms a prison again. <laughs> I'll work on that now. Seems to be our prison room. <laughs> uh, uncheck for guests. Yeah, there you go. Cool. And then when they're done healing the person, um, Are they bringing... Where are they? I don't know. Zoom out. Oh, here they here are. Here they are. Capture. Cool. Capture them! We're, we're only imprisoning you because we need you. We want you in our lives. <laughs> Just in uh, case, because this is kind of a long way to walk. Maybe. Let's see. The fewer entrances we have, the better. Okay. Because that's where people are naturally going to attack. So if we have too many, we won't know which one they choose, kind of thing? Yeah, or we'll have to, like, go and lock all of the doors to make sure people don't, like, go around and try and attack us from behind and stuff. Oh, no, they expected oh, more from us? brutal. What did Negative we do? 20. What did we do? I think, didn't somebody upset them, like, three or four times yeah. in a row? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Click on po Poscus. Who's our prisoner? Poscus. All right. Uh, let's check on their health. Their left eye was cut out, and their right eye was cut out. <clears throat> so now they're blind. They are blind. Mm. Awesome. Well, how can they shoot if they can't see? Uh, that is a really good question. <laughs> and they're gotten infection. And they have no immunity right now, so... Yeah, we oh, should... Oh, it's hitting them hard. Let's get our doctor um, and tend to them right away. Uh, tend. And hopefully we can... Oh, man! ...beat the infection. This is intense! Infections are tough. Maybe also because the place is dirty, that's why they didn't like it. Yeah. We have cat piss that. everywhere. <laughs> <We> have... <laughs> Maybe I might prioritize Big Zaddy. Well, I guess they have a lot of responsibilities. Okay, how are they doing now? Infection. 4.9 and 4. Okay. 5.1. That's pretty close. As long as we keep up with the treatments, they should be okay. So, could, should we prioritize feeding them? Uh, yeah, we don't need to prioritize. They have twenty percent food. They'll be okay. Food isn't gonna help with the infection. So. Okay. Hopefully, this grows. Bad seasonal temperature. I don't think that's correct. If you click on the tundra cotton. Uh, and like click on it again and just click on like one of the individual plants. Oh, um, maybe tundra cotton is just a flower and it's not actually cotton. Yeah. See, this says growth rate 0%, not ideal temperature. So that's, that's negative four degrees outside. Oof, brutal. We probably should do some hunting. Oh yeah, we're low on food. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that another infection? No. No. Maybe that was from before. Yeah, it must have been from before. So what do we need to do? Um, 
food? Let's, yeah, make sure we still have at least one person assigned to fishing. Um, yeah, maybe let's bump it up for knife, just for the time being. And then let's get somebody to go hunt as well. Let's flag some wildlife to be hunted. Um, maybe the rams? Leave them one of each. Yeah, and let's hunt the rats and the squirrel and stuff too. Cool. Get some meat. <clears throat> and we can tell Big Zaddy to not chop wood. I feel like that's not needed right now. We have 250 wood. Yeah, that's probably okay for now. We can lower plant cut. Maybe do... I kind of want them to clean more. Mm. So our guests yeah. are enjoying. We got some hunting. Visitors! Hey! Alright, Big Zaddy, you gotta clean up the place so it's not so gross. No, it's not so much cat pee everywhere. Building the floor. Nice. Big Zaddy is butchering. Keep cooking, we got more meals to make. Okay, so tended. Oh no, it's a major infection, but we have... 41 and 42% immunity. So that just means as long as we keep up with the things, we're always gonna be in front of the infection. Well, we should be at least. No, oh, yeah. no, not Slightly crazy. in front of the infection, oh yeah. Our floor is coming together. And then our crops indoors 10%. Nice. Growing season here now. Awesome. Because it's warm enough in there that they can keep growing. Good. That's awesome. If you click click on one of the plants, like the individual plants. Uh, Needs light? Resting. If we do more fires, will it help the light? Yeah. Click on the other plants, like the rice. Zero. Need light level 51%. More lights? Maybe torch lamps? You want torch? These ones are not good? Um. I guess either one. Yeah, I just want to see if putting that, that will help. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting intense. Hopefully winter should end in the next couple days, though. Oh, and someone's helping us clean. 
Oh, our guest. Cool. Okay, let's see. Click on the rice now. And now we still need fifty one percent. Maybe they need a wall that's fa that's outside facing, you know? Don't know. So um, there is in furniture there are oops, uh, sun lamps which you can use to grow things inside, but we need electricity for those. Okay. I don't know if we can do it without. Oh, that really sucks. I'm like getting sore from sitting here. Yeah. How are we doing? 64 and 69% immunity. Okay, cool. They also don't have eyes, so. Doesn't mean they're useless. That's true. And we can always, we can find like bionic eyes or trade for them or eventually research bionic eyes and we can literally put eyes in their head. So if it freezes, are all these dead? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Are they growing? No. What about the rice? No. 55%, okay. Hmm. Why do these look like dirt? Um, because they are dirt. There's no flooring. Oh, there. let's change that. Are guests having fun? No. Guests. 74% and then 11%? Ooh, shoot. I think they just got here, but yeah. Okay. That might go up. So they just are, need food? Is it cold? Is this where they slept? No. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I guess it's cold outside. Can we build one of these nearby? Then? Um, I don't think that will heat it outside. I don't know. Oh, and we're like out of food. We need to do some hunting. More? Yeah. Oh, they weren't. Not everything has been hunted yet. Bucks? Uh, Are those violent? There's a 20% chance they'll fight back. Oh. We can try it though. Where's our fishers? Should we just do more fishing? Is that enough? Yeah, we can try fishing. Set all three of the people who can fish to make that their top priority. Just for the next like two days. They're almost done constructing. Once they're done, we'll make them. Keep the house a little cleaner. It's looking good now. It looks a lot better. <laughs> Someone needs to come along to buy our cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could really use a trader. Our guest. Uh oh. Protection stream. Oh no. But the immunity is 87%. Okay. We're fine. They're definitely going to beat it. <laughs> Great. So... Travelers. So... They want to stay for 14 days. They offer to work and fight for free. 
If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. So that sounds good. Yeah. Except. Sure. So now we have three more people to help work. For 14 days for a whole season. That's great. So what should they do? Let's pause it. Let's see what they're good at. Oh, yeah. All right. So we have Chili. Nikita, Nicholas, Nicholas and Chili. And Chili. <laughs> Two of them are the same religion as us already. That's awesome. Great. So <laughs> one of them... Yeah, let's, let's set it so Nikita is an extra doctor, Chili can be a backup doctor, Nicholas will do wardening and handling and entertaining, that's awesome, Nikita can do, actually, we're just going to have them all fish. Oh, great! Um, and then Chili can't fish, but Chili will cook. And I'm gonna just do this. Can you take over for a second? I'm just doing a back stretch. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, my feet are in your way. Oh, that's okay. All right, got some extra help. We don't have a lot of food just yet. Nicholas, let's give Nicholas a gun. Um, and then we can, I don't know, hopefully with all that fish, we should be okay. Is that you? Yep, that's me. I'm going to do a little bit of power production, so hopefully we can put some, like, sun lamps. Sounds good. Also gonna make a little outpost for some batteries so we have a place to store our energy for when it's not windy. There's a man hunting buck nearby, but that's fine. We just won't leave our compound for now. <sighs> so I set up some windmills on the beach up here, and then this is going to be our little power station, and then we have power coming into our room and a little sun lamp. Oh, great. I just put one for now to see if that's going to work. Cool. So... Construction. <laughs> Sorry. I actually might not use that one. Okay. It's gamer time. Heck yeah, we're be posting on Instagram. <laughs> Now I have to figure out what song to use. Maybe I'll... Oh my goodness! Klee tried to hunt... Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Someone got hurt? Yeah, but... 
There was a guest, so they're fine. Hopefully. They just, yeah. There was a, ma- a man hunting buck, but our guests decided to leave right as the buck showed up, so they just hunted it for us. So. Oh, okay. Haul urgently? Perfect. Yeah. Cool. And then how's our medical patient? Poscus. They have immunity. Awesome. And their infection is going down. Let's do recruit so people will start trying to recruit him. We've got some meat. We've got some fish. Yay! It's not ideal temperature, but our rice is actually growing again and it's almost 90% grown, so that's awesome. Good. We've got a sun lamp here. We're actually working on the electricity stuff. Things are coming along. Um, great. Big Zeddy. Oh, nice. Hey, some of the rice is done. I think we pretty much made it through winter. That's great. I don't great. want to knock on wood. Yes. Knock on plastic. And Chili's helping clean. How are our newbies doing? They're doing good. They're fishing. I just said all of them to fish except for one of them, I think. All right, they're feeling indifferent right now. Oh, some of them are better than others. Cool, that's all stuff that can be fixed. And they're here for like 14 days, so hopefully at least one of them sticks around. Joins our whammon cult. <laughs> wow, we're getting their windmills. It's great. Hey. Oh. Oh, the light's slowly flickering on. It's not quite windy enough, I think. Even though it sounds really windy. Still needs more light. Oh! Yep. It's going in and out. Yeah. So it'll be better once it's, like, more stable? Mm-hmm. Once the rest of our windmills are built. There we go. And now it's windy enough that it, it can... So... And now it's nighttime, so the, the sunlight is turned off. <laughs> oh, right. Emerald is pregnant again. We're going to have more kitties. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many kitties do we have right now? So many. Six cats. And more on the way. Someone needs to come by and buy these cats. At least we're okay on food, honestly. Oh, do we have enough bedding for everyone? This is a guest. These um, are all set to guests. Yeah, I think we're okay. How many guests do we have? Oh, well, we have these three. Do they all have beds? Oh, that is a good question. I don't know. So let's set this to... Uh, oh, uncheck. Yeah, there you go. For colonists. Cool. Should we build another bed? Should we just leave one of these, maybe, for... Uh, we don't want to take it away from the medical room. Maybe we just, like, expand a little section. Oh, we're, like, out of steel. I used all of our steel. Shoot. Um, we have a lot of wood, though. Yeah, we're gonna need steel for the rest of our power stuff, though. Where do we get steel? From these things? Mm -hmm. From this. So we want to just mine that area. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, so we'll set that, but I want to build a room really quick. Mm -hmm. Structure, wooden wall. How many? Was it five? Um, there, no, it's one less. Okay. Some doors. Where are the doors? Door. Wooden door. <clears throat> we'll put one there. Put one there. I think that's good. Yeah. Then we need floors. Wood flooring. Beds. 
Oh, we need to mine those. Okay, but they'll do that automatically. Uh oh. What is going on? Raid. No! Oh, it was already paused. Oh. They're gonna prepare for a little bit, so we have a little bit of time. They're hostile. Where are they? Just one of them? Oh. Michael! Pause it. Okay, zoom out. Here, I'll have you take okay. over for a second. Yeah. What is this? Oh, that's just a stone. Um, okay, yeah, it does look like it's only one person, which is awesome, and they only have a knife. So, I think we're fine, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and send the raiding team, and yeah. we'll just go attack this person. Do it! And they have their own weapons, it's great. Yeah. Oh no, I gave Nicholas that the pistol. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. That's frozen and won't spoil. Let's call that. Awesome. Fresh and frozen will spoil. Oh, amazing. Just a lot of random dead animals that are frozen. <laughs> That's great. What about that one? The over here? Oh, there are oh, skeletons. Skeleton. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Attack him. Ooh, big hit. Oh. Torso, stomach, whole body. Oh, they're high, though, so we need to move. Oh, no. They're high, so they're... They're just going to be more dangerous because they're on drugs. Big hits. Big hits. Take them down! Hey. hey! So are they incapacitated now? Can you... They're just dead. Oh. Yeah, so sometimes you incapacitate people and sometimes you just kill so them. So none of that is worth it? Nope. Um... All right, they're a little bit cut, but they will be fine. Do they need awesome. treatment? Yeah, but they'll go do that automatically. Great. Cool. It really wasn't that bad. Yeah. Do you want to take a streaming break for a bit? Sure. Cool. Thank you all for joining us. We will be online in a little bit. We don't know how long we'll be gone, but maybe like 30 minutes to an hour or so. But thank you so much for joining and we'll be back in a little bit. Bye, sexy! Bye.